Okay, I'm waiting for Ned and Mamu to join us, uh, and then they can uh, signal me whether I whether they can hear me or not. If you if you can hear me, you can tag me or something. Ah, requested. Apa ni requested? Who requested? Ah, nah, okay, fine. I will approve. Approve. Okay, kucing kunci tara. Yes, hello. Ah, loud and clear. Hello. Sorry, hello, hello, kopi Camilo. Hello. Hello, boleh dengar, boleh dengar. Boleh, boleh, boleh dengar. Okay, okay. Hello. Alright, so everyone can hear me, right? Can. Okay, can, can. Can. So I can hear each and every one of you clearly. So our mic check is successful. So <laughs> we have. <laughs> so we have one minute to go. Uh, before nine o'clock, we'll start exactly at nine. Uh, but for now, kita just relax really je lah. And kalau sesiapa ada stage fright macam aku ada anxiety. So I'm always anxious before anything. Before talking to anyone. Uh, so anyone? Anyone! Seriously? Anyone. Yes, it's still there. I'm 41 years old. It's still <laughs> I, think I need to plan things. I need to have like talking points and whatever. Everything has to be planned. Alamak, serious lah. Ada talking But, points? Uh, tak ada. Aku tahu dah apa benda aku nak cakap lah. <laughs> Tapi tak ada. It's like the talking points I, from experience I know that It will last for the first five minutes, and then after that, there. So uh, and then you go like you go off in a tangent. I have to go off in a tangent because I don't prepare any <laughs> beyond five minutes. <laughs> like, you know, everything that I can that I need to tell people, I can tell in t- five minutes, and that's it. The past two, I have nothing else to say. So, <laughs> yeah, like this, mum, ngah ngah gua lah. You know, it's always been like that. Well, yeah, that's the thing. I'm one of those people lah, yang memang ada bullet points of the things to talk about. Hmm. Kalau tak aku macam malas nak bergayut Eh? Kau bergayut? Oh aku ya aku tak pernah bergayut Dulu lah public phone kan yeah. oh, Zaman dia ada Zaman dia zaman dia ada awet dulu pun Jarang lah bergayut uh-huh. <laughs> I can attest to that I'm still a virgin So aku tak ada awet really? <laughs> Wow such a prestigious life <laughs> the 41 year old virgin yeah. so as a, as a good muslim kan so anyway kepada semua yang kepada semua yang uh, tak tahu uh, ada tiga lagi uh, perbualan serius pasal industri filem Malaysia uh, satu dekat FB live tak silap aku ada Finas punya benda sekarang tak? sekarang sedang berlangsung sekarang ya yeah. pada ha. masih sama so okay, ada, okay. ada dua lagi dekat uh, Clubhouse. Ha, Clubhouse ada kan ha. Ha. Uh, yes yes uh, kalau, 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 lah. kalau kalau nak kan perbincangan serius silalah ke sana macam yes. tu kan ya yeah, betul betul sebabnya <laughs> kita honestly speaking kita aku tak tahulah kalau kau nak serius tapi tak uh, tak tak, tak. tak, tak. <laughs> jawapan aku serius okeylah kalau serius pun for like 5 minutes lah lepas tu aku macam i don't i don't it's like i don't have anything else to say after that serious for me is kalau ada solution sekali lah Aku macam nak borak je ni. Ah oh, yalah kan. It's not tapi, like a proper eh, forum. Ha. Tapi kita start dengan kau lah Mamu. Sebabnya kau hari tu kau ada altercation sikit kan. Dengan seorang yang cakap oh kenapa tak buat benda ni murah. You know all this murah. Lepas tu dia bagi contoh macam. Altercation. Eh? Bukan altercation lah. Some sort of discussion lah I guess. Spirited discussion dekat Twitter. Yang mana somebody said that. Um, kenapa tak buat uh, production. Tapi uh, yang. Orang putih punya production semua murah-murah Tapi kenapa kita tak boleh buat Oh yang tu lah oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Lepas tu kau minta contoh Aku recap lah kan Oh so, yes yes that one, that one yeah, yeah. Lepas tu dia cakap Sopranos Lepas tu kau cakap Sopranos <laughs> punya episode is like Sopranos Satu to six million Satu to episode dua juta US dollar babe. Yeah yeah Serius Which lah Dia bagi like, contoh Sopranos Lagi mahal Satu episode Jadi. dia lagi mahal Daripada semua filem Z Lohman Combat <laughs> Semua, so, semua yeah. <laughs> yang pakai Super. stock footage Yang macam letak bom, letak bom dalam kereta kancil Lepas tu zoom out <laughs> Mercedes meletup Macam tu Yes, yes And, Tak pun terbalik uh, ha. Yang Balik. meletupnya kereta lain ha. kan Mercedes tu bom dia letak Tak, yang, yang Mercedes yeah. meletup tu stock footage Oh, ha, okay, okay. macam tu <laughs> eh, Kau tak tengok, okay, Lanun, Lanun pergi colik bayi Lepas tu jadi, dia, dia orang punya camp Lanun jadi macam daycare centre So, that one perlukan Eh, tapi kenapa jadi jatuh macam comel? Dia, dia, dia cerita serius ke komedi? Apa dia, which one? Yang Lanun tu lah yang, Baru sebut yang yang Raja Laut, lah. dude, Raja Laut lah One of the schemes was, dia pergi colik semua bayi tau Which is something cold-blooded to do okay, lah Kau okay. pergi colik bayi okay, kan okay. Tapi lepas tu, what do you do with the bayi? So, you have scenes where the bayi is being taken care of by this all that like, like muka muka ganas punya pirate eh? lepas tu tengah dodoi kan baby budak whatever the hell Dude, is this like a comedy? 
No, no, it's serious. Where is this it, a comedy? It's, it's brilliant though. Yeah, I know, I know, but it's not. It's not. It's intentional. It's unintentional comedy. I still loved it. Uh, I I thought it was brilliant. I thought it was great. Uh, so anyway, okay, uh, nak ajak so Rosa Isham take... cakap sekali tak? Ah, uh, okay, jaya. Uh, sorry, aku aku uh, aku tak nampak. Eh. So ada 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 Rosa Isham. Kau nak kau nak cakap? Eh? Oh, macam mana dia cakap? Aku just offer dia lah. Ah, <laughs> for request ah. <laughs> eh. Invite to speak. Okay lah, invite to speak. So anyway, so, so anyway, Mama tu cakap. Yeah. Mm, okay. So yeah. So uh, what's your take on that lah, basically? Tak ada apa sebenarnya, I mean uh, Aku setiasa assume, assume Walaupun benda tu tak betul Tapi aku setiasa assume yang orang suka macam cerita Sebenar belakang tabir Menumpah apa, menumpah kanti apa semua kan uh-huh. So I I wanted to share lah Some behind the scenes punya story But apparently quite a few people They have a very strong reaction against uh, kita, Kalau kita nak proper budget for TV series Oh, so, a- a- aku bagi allegory macam ni lah. Katalah one day kan, aku come out with this statement. Aku cakap dengan semua orang, aku ni bukanlah da- daripada bidang construction. Mm-hmm. Tapi lepas aku tengok cukup banyak shopping mall, aku <laughs> rasa dengan 10 juta ringgit, kita boleh bina shopping mall yang simple tapi megah macam Ica. Oh. If I hear, the, if I say that, for sure lah orang akan nak betulkan aku kan. Mm-hmm. Macam eh tak boleh, ni je dah berapa, mm-hmm. ini dah berapa, itu lagi. <coughs> tapi you say that to me, aku cakap ah itu semua alasan. <laughs> Kalau kau nak mesti boleh. <laughs> so it, that's what this conversation sounds like to me though. Okay, I understand. Tapi yeah. just think, I'm going to I'm going to take uh, an opposing view to that. Ah. Hmm. Aku rasa no, I think what the guy said, uh, hmm. even though aku pun rasa honestly speaking aku rasa bangang, uh, uninformed lah. Bukan bodoh tapi macam uninformed. Uh, macam cakap jahil. Hello. Hello, hey, hello. Hey, Ali. Tak, tak sebelum aku ore, sebab uh, sebelum aku lose my train of thought. Yeah, tapi aku rasa, aku rasa dia ada dia ada apa? Uh, dia ada point tau Dia ada point Kenapa kita uh, Dengan kita punya pengurusan duit Satu hal yeah, uh, yeah. You know And also Kenapa kita tak boleh buat Benda-benda Okay benda yang Benda mahal macam Film Transformers Which is the best film in the world uh, Tak boleh buat Sebabnya tak ada budget Untuk special effects yeah. Tapi kenapa kita tak boleh buat Bila macam the circle, uh, Macam Circle Bukan The Circle Circle is another death game Punya benda dekat Netflix Which I like mm-hmm. uh, You know Benda-benda bodoh macam tu lah uh, Macam siapa nama yang jadi yang berlakon dalam satu satu stage tu whatever lah tapi all these limited small projects yang yeah. uh, uh, tu buat lah I, I understand tapi itu kalau conversationnya pasal filem lah mm-hmm. kalau filem not not only boleh but it happens all the time yeah it's just that mm. people don't watch it people don't watch it <laughs> and yeah. you sacrifice different things the yeah. topic that day was about drama series ah uh, drama yang staple on TV yeah, lah yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh, who who can do low budget drama series sustainable and buat atas dasar favor which is something you're going to need a lot of lah kalau kau nak buat benda bajet rendah because, because. so that was the thing that I would say is factually wrong hmm. and at the end of the day it's also market lah like macam yeah. you want to compare dengan Korea tengoklah market, market dia orang besar mana now and, hmm, satu dunia. and you can't you, you can't just simply macam take squid game and kata oh dia orang boleh buat cerita macam ni apa semua Dude, dekat Korea is uh, banyak gila je cerita drama-drama tujuh petang banyak gila my mom watches them all the time and dia sama yeah, je dia sama je macam drama tujuh petang sama je yeah, it's the same I, actually betul uh, apa ni sebab kalau kita tengok dulu kan apa cerita yang famous aku ingat masa cerita lima tu hero pakai spek tu apa <laughs> nama apa nama apa kita ke eh winter sonata eh ha? winter sonata winter sonata ha. kan Oh, oh apa tak? Winter Sonata bukan okay. Korea Winter Sonata Jepun eh, kan? Winter Sonata Korea lah Korea, Korea kan? Ha, I don't know if it was right? adapted from Japan Japanese ke apa ke Tapi the popular one was the Korean one lah Aku tengah Google uh, Menggunakan sejarah Actually sejarah. from that <laughs> tau South Korean yeah. South Korean ya yeah. hmm. So actually almost Aku rasa lah all industry Dia akan Kita industri uh, film and TV lah Akan slowly bergerak Bil, dia bergerak uh, sebenarnya disebabkan bukan bukan sahaja kita as a maker yang buat tau disebabkan oleh dasarkan uh, audience juga so for mm-hmm. example kan kalau kalau uh, aku buat some produk yang gila babi sekalipun tapi tak ada orang tengok dia tak ada bergerak dia geledakkan apa ni Uh, uh, dia orang punya rasa nak tengok something yang new tu akan 
push juga TV. So that's good juga <laughs> untuk untuk orang uh, bercakap. Uh, for me memang aku faham yang uh, apa yang uh, di uh, sebab aku baca je uh, 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 apa ni kamu uh, tentang uh, yang brother tu kan aku tak hmm. nak salahkan dia because uh, uh, no no of course not yeah, yeah. No. Uh, that, that... I, mean, i mean i mean no memang kita tak salahkan dia cuma aku rasa kenapa dia bercakap macam tu because the reason dia uh, aku rasa dia rasa buat story tu mudah kan hmm. Uh, hmm. so Uh, also, also, that, I, also, also, I think, also, I think that's, uh, that's, uh, kerana pandangan ramai penonton lah, audience yang fikir, kenapa tak boleh buat yang best? <laughs> kenapa, yeah. kenapa buat? Kenapa buat tayi je kan? Kenapa? <laughs> eh, bla bla bla. Kan? So, Actually, it's from, from their perspective, from their perspective, it's understandable kalau dia tengok macam, alah, filem bodoh ni lagi, lah, bodoh ni. Silap kita juga, <laughs> tapi nak nak cakap aku berhadapan tiga empat kali tau berhadapan dengan a uh, uh, ni kes satu kes ni a mm-hmm. uh, this a uh, orang founder dia kata kenapa filem kita tak best <laughs> kan uh, aku, aku cakap oh, uh, sebenarnya skrip kita pun ada problem untuk buat sebab untuk buat skrip yang bagus dia memerlukan masa yang panjang yes development tu Yeah, development tu memang hmm. take time gila untuk dapatkan solid Then kalau you just bayar satu filem RM20,000 Sedangkan dia orang nak kerja 2-3 tahun untuk benda tu Susah lah kalau less than setahun pun gaji kau RM20,000 setahun So, uh, <laughs> faham tak? I mean, tak healthy kan untuk 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 uh, seorang uh, orang seni yeah. tu kan Practically And, what so, happened to us during gantung lah <laughs> hmm. So actually uh, So dia cakap Oh you ke Aku nak buat Aku, aku tulis lah skrip okay. Aku tulis lah uh, yeah. Actually, actually hey. dia, Then dia tulis uh, Dia tulis hmm. And then uh, Okay tak apa Go ahead tulis kan Dia tulis Empat hari siap uh, skrip tu Bravo Pernah aku boleh, pernah, boleh. Tapi result Empat harinya Nanti dulu Nanti dulu, lah. nanti dulu. Ha. Go on go on yeah. so, uh, so aku pun macam Oh dia panggil aku balik Okay sekarang aku nak Direct story aku ni Best gila aku tulis ni <laughs> Best gila ke? Aku baca Suspense. First time Literally Aku nak muntah Oh okay Because <laughs> Idea kan ini Idea kita kan is Boleh pergi everywhere That's why Menulis skrip mm-hmm. Bukan idea merewa mm. They should yep. Properly Structure Properly Detail ikat dengan tema properly kenapa uh, uh, watak ni nak uh, itu memerlukan uh, kita masuk ke dalam yang lama kan so itu sekali kena macam Allah teruk gila ke skrip ni kan actually depan Vovin masa tu lah tahun tahun 2012 something like that lama uh, tu dalam and then tak. berlaku lagi lagi <laughs> kali hmm. uh, orang nak bagi certain amount of money hmm. ok uh, then Uh, aku memang dah start uh, ambil proses development kan So uh, aku bawa masuk lah Vovin Masa tu Vovin uh, uh, ada Aloy, Ama dan a few orang Lima orang kita nak start develop Okay because you, you nak bagi duit kan So diduduk 3-4 jam dalam uh, room tu Narrator's room Dia start rasa Kenapa tak keluar lagi story korang ni Dia macam fuck Kita tengah discuss kan ni <laughs> Mana boleh keluar <laughs> macam tu je yeah. Lambat dah overflow korang eh, Memang benda ni memang lambat man yeah. Tapi dia nak bagi very good money tau Tapi tak pun uh, esoknya Kita orang pun masuk lagi Because satu hari tak dapat And Second day pun uh, Masih tak dapat Of course tak dapat lagi premis apa Because kita tengah study okay, Lagi kan karakter tu apa benda apa benda It's very zero kan Dia just nak bagi duit je kan So kita tengah discuss lah Aku wolf ni semua Amal discuss discuss Lepas tu hari, hari kedua tu Aku dah self-fed up lah Aku cakap Eh geng Aku rasa ni kena uh, Tarik handbrake ni Daripada kau melayan Ego orang kaya mm-hmm. uh, Yang tak faham pun The story So dia cakap Oh sekali lagi uh, Aku cakap oh, Aku tak boleh Tak apa-apa apa, gini Biar aku buat story Aku tengok <laughs> macam mana aku buat <laughs> Again, hey, ada lagi tak skrip tu? Ha? Ada lagi? Ada lagi skrip? Sinopsis je Sinopsis lah ha. Tu satu perkara lagi lah Macam ada ha. banyak orang akan approach skrip writer Cakap aku ha. ada story Nanti sikit lagi sikit lagi Okay go ahead, go ahead. Ha, Sikit je lagi Lepas tu dia pun baca Ada ha, bagi kat aku Aku pun tengok Apa dah cerita Korea tu Vincent Chu apa dah? 
Vincenzo 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 Cakap eh Ni story Ni Kalau pas kau tengok Vincenzo Dia kau tulis story ni ke apa ni Aku tanya dia Haa oh. ah, Dia kat oh. Dia macam Plagiarize terus kan oh. Haa dia macam plagiarize terus ke macam? Tak plagiarize lah. Yes. Inspired. But, but inspired. Yeah. Inspired from. <laughs> apa ni? Oh Duduh orang. Tak, masalah tanya. <laughs> dia, because dia, dia bukan uh, script writer kan. So, untuk dia, dia tak faham. Orang tak akan faham how menulis script tak akan sama daripada kita menulis status Facebook atau status Twitter. It's very clear that menulis script ni susah nak mampus sebenarnya tu. Jujurnya Difficult lah That's why Amir Hafizi uh, 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 Apa ni uh, Menyerah kalah lah kan Bukan menyerah kalah Amir, Amir kecewa sikit lah Dengan menulis skrit Sebab payment sikit Kerja Papai nak muntah kan Something like that lah Well aku tak kecewa Cuma aku tak Kalau, kalau tak dibayar uh, Duit yang banyak Aku tak nak buat lah so, <laughs> Sebab sekarang aku eh Aku tengah buat uh, Corporate staff Corporate staff pays way more So buat apa aku nak Betul, betul. Spend my time on that kan? So, betul. <laughs> I mean, I mean, in a way, kau, kau, kalau dulu kau buat, tapi after that kau macam, weh, tak boleh lah. Dulu aku lapar, dulu aku tak ada duit. Aku berhenti kerja, <laughs> tak ada, <laughs> tak ada savings. Aku ambil lah, apa, apa kau suruh aku buat, kau suruh aku tulis apa, aku tulis lah. It's like whatever. Uh, aku, semua skrip, aku dulu bayar dia RM10,000 je, kau tak nak, bukan RM20 pun. Hmm. Uh, yeah. Itu, itu. Itu kerja lah 6 bulan lah. Ha, uh, huh? tu, tu. Kalau itu, 6 bulan itu. pun betul lah. Actually, tak, itu, aku, itu aku buat orang tahu dia. kan Inside story dia Apa dia Untuk skrip Orang ingat duduk kat rumah uh, <laughs> Kau hari-hari Kau hantar kepala kat dinding Kau memikirkan Apa benda nak buat ni kan It's, it's quite difficult uh. Jadi ni juga Sometimes Yang lebih Menyedihkan sikit Ada certain of Macam kawan-kawan uh, Writer aku Yang masuk ke dalam uh, Character Dia start depressed tau. Easily uh, Depressed kan Because kau buat Character kau tulis tu Fucked up kan And hmm. then uh, is easily kau kau hmm. hanyut dengan karakter tu untuk kemak dekat oh. kemak dengan something yang Oh masa kau macam macam method writing ke apa? So, <laughs> kalau kau tulis pasal pembunuh pesiri kau kena jadi tak, pembunuh pesiri. Tak juga tapi in a way kau kau hari-hari kau duduk discuss kan pasal pasal uh, macam tu kau Hello? boleh jadi fucked up tau. Hello? Kau yeah, dengar tak? Kau dengar. Ya. Yeah. Hello? Dengar. Eh, senyap. Dengar tak? Eh. Ada kau kau clear? Asal eh, tak adalah. Ha? Kau je yang tak dengar ada. senyap ni. Kita orang dengar kau dan dengar orang yeah. lain. Tak ada masalah. Ya, kau orang kan kau orang ranjau aku semua <laughs> benda <laughs> macam budak sekolah. Tak. No, but the thing is but, but, okay. So uh, apa yang kau cakap tadi pasal uh, orang tu kena jadi tak, tak, no, no, not really. Kena, not really. Bawah, Jangan bawah, ambil ya. literally sangat. I mean uh, okay. kau kau maj- kau bayangkan hari-hari <laughs> kau duduk kat some story kau tengah berbincang tentang story pembunuhan. Hari-hari kau mm-hmm. discuss tentang this character ni kot. Ni kot kan, let's say uh, kau take untuk discuss character ni pun about sebulan. Kalau kau film kan. Aku rasa it's quite fucked up lah untuk, 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 untuk penulis tu, faham tak? Mm. It's quite difficult yeah, journey yeah. tau. Sebab kau nak kena masuk betul-betul what, apa yang dia buat kan. So kau question banyak, banyak benda kan. So eh, uh, kalau apa, sure, being John McAfee kan. Apa uh, yang... Uh, <laughs> Ya yeah, ya. Yeah. Bukan, bukan bukan sorry. Uh, c- apa uh, Charlie Kaufman punya movie tu benda dah. Uh, uh, ya pasal skrip writer, writer tu tak pernah benda. Eh? Uh, bukan Bing Jong Lakevich ke? Yeah, be... No no, there's another one yang dia buat pasal dia tu. Hang on hang on. Ya ya ya. Ah apa dah nama? Nicholas Cage tu. Uh, uh, bukan skrip 77 kan? Ya. <laughs> eh? uh, ada Charlie Kaufman. Uh, Spike Jones juga kan direct? Ya. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, adaptation Adaptation, ya yeah. Adaptation kan adaptation. Actually, when kita, Bila kita tengok adaptation Dia cakap, oh Faham kenapa It's fucked up sebenarnya Untuk writer yang betul-betul Nak buat Something kan So that's why movie tu Come up begitu <laughs> Tapi itu according to the writer Kalau kau tanya uh, Break layer ke Atau waiter pun Dia cakap dia punya kerja Paling susah lah <laughs> kan? uh, You know We, we shouldn't uh, Aku rasa lah, aku rasa we shouldn't like believe our own hype sangat yang macam oh susahnya kerja aku kenapa semua orang lain tak ada kerja susah. Frontliners memang kalau kita tengok dalam cerita filem Frontliners tu memang <laughs> kerja dia orang memang aku susah. Aku tengok Belum Frontliners lah. Belum, belum, belum. Aku, aku, aku tak sanggup tengok sebab aku sakit 2-3 hari dan aku asyik batuk. So aku fikir kalau aku mati, I don't want my last movie to be Frontliners. <laughs> 
<laughs> because it's really bad. Uh, uh, but yeah, um, I think yeah. Tapi uh, apa apa yang kau cakap tadi? I mean, let's uh, let's recap. Uh, Azizah Sham cakap basically uh, penulis skrip ialah something yang amat susah lah, yang orang susah nak appreciate. Orang tahu nak find. <laughs> yeah, yeah, betul betul. That's, is, that's 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 the point. But okay, aku setuju, aku setuju, and aku cakap bahawa semua susah. disiplin lain pun orang betul. tak faham betul. kesusahan dia. Contoh macam aku memang sampai sekarang aku menghargai sesiapa yang uh, handle kostum dan wig yang betul <laughs> sebab kebanyakan kostum dan wig dalam filem aku yang ada bukan filem aku filem yang aku terlibat yang ada uh, apa yang ada pakai wig atau kostum memang agak teruk so it's like it's horrible kan uh, uh, set design punya people production tapi, people tapi kau refer kepada uh, pekerjaan dalam production kan eh? so tapi uh-huh. aku pretty confident uh, aku boleh cakap script writing yang paling susah sekali I mean, oh, I mean okay. kalau kalau pekerjaan dekat luar of course aku tak boleh nak judge kan tapi uh, kalau pekerjaan okay. dalam production so, I kind of uh, aku rasa so, pekerjaan yang susah because it's quite lonely pekerjaan tau kalau macam tu Razai Syam sebagai sekarang kau director producer kan yep so Uh, so, how much do you think a percentage of the production should go to script writers? It's a difficult answer to, uh, a difficult question tu sebenarnya, difficult to mampus. And tricky, <laughs> tricky somebody, question, somebody tricky said, question. Yeah, yeah. Because somebody said like, uh, the director should get 5, 6% or 10% of the bu- of the whole fucking budget or something like that, I'm not sure. So, imagine kalau script writing is so difficult, then how much would it be? So, kalau production tu 1 juta, katau 10%, Uh, is 100,000 kan kalau so kalau 5% then the director should get like 50,000 so kalau si kalau script writing is so difficult then how much would it be because it's nice always tau aku biasa jumpa production producers TV stations even <coughs> audience members and even people on Twitter cakap script hmm. is the most important thing but no <laughs> wants to pay nobody uh, wants to talk lah script writers yeah so that's another consideration that's another thing yang kita orang cakap kenapa kita tak boleh uh, apa ni, ada squid game uh, 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 antara sebabnya ialah uh, these things uh, all this all this all these problems are actually real and it's true and aku tak ada nak cakap yang mamat yang cakap kenapa tak buat macam ni kenapa tak buat macam tu aku tak nak cakap dia salah langsung sebabnya it might come from an uninformed uh, punya position tapi ada kebenaran dalam apa yang dia cakap Because I think as filmmakers, uh, as production people, we also bear the responsibility kenapa kita tak buat skrip yang lagi bagus. Uh, macam aku, aku malas sebab kalau tak ada duit banyak. <laughs> I'm money my I'm all about the money. So, some people, dia macam, dia tak boleh. Uh, macam, ah uh, balik pada akulah, aku tak boleh cakap pasal orang lain kan. Aku tak boleh tulis setakat ni, I have failed to write convincing, strong female characters. So, it's been something yang aku, is nagging me for the past few years. And aku cuba nak betul ke lah because I got uh, ni tau, I got an ultra feminist, well not really ultra feminist lah. I got a feminist to be my script doctor for one of my scripts. I got funding from Finas for the best, so I paid her some money. And then lepas tu, yang paling betul-betul kantor ialah bila aku nak explain the lead female character because she's just there as decoration. So then I was like macam, ha bodohnya. Aku rasa bodoh gila because I'm doing that in front of uh, a feminist person lah. Aku macam, oh, oh. Oh, but, but, but you have so a desire to tackle that lah ya yeah. Sebab aku rasa Not every writer has to master everything Nah, of course uh, But I, I, it's annoying me uh-huh. lah Because it makes my characters boring So that that Because half of the characters are female <laughs> In a lot of oh, them yeah. Or more <laughs> And half of them are not not interesting And I don't give a shit So it means that nobody's going to give a shit About half the characters in the story mm. lah Hmm So that's something I have to figure out on my own lah. It's my own personal journey, wanking journey lah. And all these are wanking journeys by by writers and whatever. Everyone has one. <coughs> But that's the thing. Um, Papi nak cakap bahawa, okay, aku nak cakap bahawa uh, just to sum up apa yang lima minit aku cakap ada tu, is this. Eh? Aku fikir kenapa Malaysia tak boleh, Malaysian production tak boleh buat cerita macam Squid Game is ada dua jawapan. Satu ialah aku tak fikir kita nak buat pun Squid Game sebab aku pun tak suka Death Game. Aku tak fikir semua orang suka death game punya genre. Tapi another answer is this. Kita punya industri ada problem dekat semua lapis. Lapis pertama ialah uh, administrators, uh, meaning Finas, KK, KK, KKMM, uh, LPF. Policy makers uh, lah. The, uh, the government. 
Policy makers. Huh? Policy makers, yeah. Uh, all the top people and also the money people. The people who are funding Astro, setting the rules, laws and whatever, yang funding Bida Prima, those are the only two companies, ada kat RDM or whatever. So the policy makers and all those people, that's one tier. Dia orang ada masalah dia orang mesti. Banyak gila babi. Pinas punya audit, aku tak tahu dah lepas ke tidak. Uh, sampai sekarang pun, there's a lot of issues and problems there alone uh, yang boleh buat uh, duit 20 buku or some shit like that. So <coughs> that's one. That one is banyak problem. And then on another level, you have the filmmakers not inspired to do anything. Aku accept the the criticism from the audience which is like we're not, a lot of us are not inspired to do anything, including myself. It's like, fuck it lah, tak ada duit, mampus lah. You know, uh, that's one. Another thing is Some of us are not capable of doing it. And aku bagi contoh dia pun sendiri, bukan orang lain. In the sense that there are certain weaknesses dalam aku punya own work and writing that aku tak boleh nak settle lagi. Kalau aku settle, memang aku buat terus. Aku terus tulis cerita best kila babi. Lepas tu, you know, I'll, I'll let it loose. But, you know, <laughs> aku masih lagi dalam try to resolve those things. So, uh, on our level, kita punya will, kita punya kesubuhan yang kita nak buat dan juga kita punya uh, kemampuan lah. Kemampuan mungkin tak capai. Okay, some people might And kemampuan tu termasuklah masa, duit, uh, bakat, whatever, you know, skill, whatever lah. And there's another layer which is the audience themselves. Aku juga hold the audience uh, responsible sebabnya dia orang enabler. Content yang jadi kat sini juga ialah pasal dia orang minta content macam tu. Dia orang nak cerita-cerita macam tu keluar kat TV. Kalau kalau kau dia orang nak squid game akan keluar lah squid game. Banyaklah kita death game datang-datang kita buat, buat lah. Taklah yang, 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 yang funnynya bila uh, ada somebody, kalau sesiapa lah yang mention pasal squid game and then suddenly everybody is macam oh tengah uh, hangat bercakap pasal squid game. Sebenarnya all you need to do is go, all you need to do is look at your, the the layers of your social circle. And all you need to do is just go one layer away je daripada your Twitter punya circle or your social media punya circle to discover betul ke Squid Game ni menjadi perbualan hangat orang ramai di Malaysia populasi, populasi besarnya maksudnya all you, masyarakat Malaysia, Malaysia. Masyarakat. so all you need to do is just go one layer outside of your social media circle to find out that macam oh sebenarnya tak lah All you need to do is ask your ask your mom, ask your dad, ask your pakcik, makcik, you punya cousins ke apa ke. How many percent actually watches Squid Game? Siapa yang tahu kewujudan dia pun? I can tell you easily like macam if I were to go out and talk to like my mom, my cousins ke ataupun as simple as macam you know my 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 abang my my abang saudara jual nasi lemak. He doesn't know anything about Squid Game. He doesn't know the existence of it. So when we talk about way, we, when we talk about Squid Game ni, how many percent of the population are we talking about? Yang kuno-kunonya nak sangat yeah, Squid Game ni. By the way, kau tengok belum Squid Game? Aku ah, belum tengok. Ah, Because ah, I have no interest in it actually ah, to be honest. To be honest, I have no interest in Squid yeah, Game. Uh, I have no interest in I have no interest oh. in watching um apa nama ni? Macam you cakap lah death game kan? Because It's not an entirely new concept to begin with. Macam benda ni dah di cover banyak kali before sebelum ni. Uh, apa nama ni? Uh, Hunger Games and what was what was what Hunger Games was adapted from apparently the Japanese punya Battle Royale. Battle Royale. So benda ni That's benda ni dah ada in the past. It's not as if it's something entirely new. And you know, if I if I don't have the interest or the capacity then I won't watch it lah. It's as simple as that. But for some people, it's the first thing that they've seen. Ooh, best dia ada orang. Yeah, because like, fuck, man? I, I cakap I've sebenarnya, I, I have, and years. I also have friends who watch Squid Game and was completely unfazed. Yang macam, hmm, apa ni sebenarnya kan? <laughs> macam, it's not that impressive ke apa ke. Ada je juga orang yang bercakap macam tu. So, it's it's a matter of um, when you, kita selalu buat macam, we, tak tahu lah, I rasa kadang-kadang, Uh, our industry, our filmmakers pun kadang-kadang work on a knee punya response juga. Maksudnya, oh, my, so- my my social media circle is talking about this particular movie yang everybody is talking about. Really? Is everybody really talking mm. about it? You kena tanya soalan tu. Is everybody really talking about it? And then you feel as though you are pressurized to do something that is also like that. And then that's how TV yeah. stations I- would 
also get this knee-jerk response di mana dia macam, oh okay, jadi kita buat something hmm. macam Squid Game but with 10% okay. of the budget sahaja. Lepas ni jadilah sama cerita bodoh. Okay, tapi, Nek, tapi Nek, tak, tapi Nek, kau bayangkan, ya yeah, kau bayangkan, that's a great idea. Kau bayangkan Squid ah, Game tapi... With 10% siap. of the budget. First of all, <laughs> for, uh, uh, 10% of the budget but here's the thing, ha. setting Malaysia is not exactly. going to fucking work. Tak tak tak. Because those places, tempat-tempat yang ada death game punya genre yang macam gila babi benda, intricate semua dibuat ni Those places, they all punya governments actually work Okay, their governments are very effective hmm. in doing things Kita government, kalau kau tengok lah banyak benda dia pakak <laughs> Kau ingat dia boleh buat ke dia? Dan abdak satu orang pun tak boleh <laughs> tak dekat kau Nak abdak lagi apa-apa It, 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 it won't become, it won't become a believable story, story. Haa, tak ada siapa kami yeah, yeah, yeah. Dia tak ada dia kena dia tiba-tiba seorang cakap, ya tuan kami sudah uh, kami sudah menangkap 456 orang. Yeah, you know, it's like, what the fuck? It's, it's not going to happen because uh, I don't think Malaysians, even Malaysians would buy the effectiveness hmm. of any organisation or government. Kita punya big big corporations pun tak boleh yeah. pakai. Banyak dia benda yang leak benda apa semua. Lepas tu kantoi. Lepas tu apa, macam mana kau buat conspiracy? Benda orang makan duit dalam company kau sendiri pun hmm. kantoi gila babi. And of course tak ada siapa kena worry out, oh, tak boleh cakap kan, dia kan kena, kena tangkap kan, whatever kan. Tangkap orang okay, tapi lepas tu dia lepas balik. So aku macam, okay, so it's, I don't think it's believable. But I think it's a fun tu, thing tu, to, to, uh, to ni lah, to, to explore. To explore lah tu lah eh. Aku, I thought it's one of the things that we could, we could think about. Siapa yang kau rasa, kalau, kalau ada Squid Game of Malaysia, kau rasa which uh, political party ataupun big corporation yang mampu untuk abduct buat atau limpun orang untuk terpaksa dia orang main game-game bodoh tu oh has to be like the biggest corporation lah ni ke air 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 selangor kalau kau tak masuk nanti potong <laughs> air <laughs> but it happens anyway lah like, so <laughs> okay, by now by now sebab dah berapa puluh tahun dah the selangor people have been facing <laughs> this water cut whatever sampai bila aku cakap oi aku beli baldi Member aku Joli pergi cakap aku beli yang menatang roller ni dia macam dah ready gila aku ada ni aku ada ni dia memang <laughs> macam dah evolve dah adapted to tak ada air uh, that we might that selangor might as well, might as well be dekat tengah <laughs> hey, pasir okay, we are ready. already in our squid game apa kau nak cakap bal <laughs> kita huh? dah memang ada dalam squid game dah pun sekarang ni aku <laughs> aku who's winning I don't who's winning know. I think everybody is losing <laughs> it was losing no it's it's really bad Um, yeah, but, but that's the thing lah uh, One of the things that aku tengok Dia death game ni dia jadi kat uh, Japan, Korea I mean, dia orang suka lah buat cerita ni Sebab they can believe that uh, Their people can be so efficient right. as to do all those things Walaupun press ngarut gila lah Kau tahu tak? Aku tengok Alice in Borderlands And aku tahu as soon as Aku tahu menatang tu pasal apa I'm gonna <laughs> fucking hate it And the reveal was like Oh God, bodohnya menatang ni kan Oh Uh, tapi nothing beats King's Game. Aku nak spoil King's Game sebab whatever lah kan. Siapa-siapa tak nak uh, tahu spoiler King's Game, kau orang belah sekarang. <laughs> aku tak tahu, aku tak Ataupun uh, sekejap whatever. Tau, King's Game macam last set. Semua benda, okay, King's hmm. Game dia start macam ni tau. Dalam satu kelas, okay. dalam satu kelas, uh, setiap orang akan dapat arahan daripada King. Okay. Macam Simon Says lah. Oh, macam kau bromen dengan okay, ni, okay. kau bromen dengan ni. Kau kena kerat tangan kau. Whatever. Kalau kau tak buat benda tu, okay. kau akan mati. <laughs> Uh, masih masih hari whatever lah so uh, it's really king's game lah whatever the king says so anyway so penjelasan untuk menatang tu ialah sebenarnya pada pada hmm. perang dunia kedua somebody develop a nano virus oh. or some shit like that uh, uh, sorry not not nano virus mind control oh. virus the virus yang boleh control fikiran orang supaya bagi dia orang mati kalau dapat uh, SMS daripada benda yang yang dicipta pada masa tu tak ada hmm. SMS lagi kau tahu tak tak ada phone tak ada apa, uh, it's like hmm, so, uh, it's, it's, kau tak nak betapa aku barah sebab aku aku terpaksa baca komik tau aku baca berpuluh chapter ke beratus chapter untuk dapat the stupid fucking explanation yang macam kurang punya aku it's like macam dia tak boleh nak explain macam mana so eventually dia berak satu hari macam ni lah kita explain macam tu uh, virus and all, all of the death came John Ross penjelasan ni semua bodoh macam tu Masuklah Squid Game Yalah, kan? I mean like it, I think uh. this brings into light uh, Kadang-kadang kita punya penonton Punya double standard juga In the sense that Kalau dari mm. Kalau idea tu dari luar negara ke Apa ke Macam sekarang the hot The hot industry will be in Korea kan So Dia orang lebih mudah yeah. beli No matter how absurd the idea is Because You know why dia orang mudah beli Sebab mata mudah dikaburi Dengan mm. production value yang tinggi Tapi dia orang tak sedar benda tu 
Dia sebab production value dia tinggi yes. Nampak semua benda gah Jadi semua benda senang beli Tak ada masalah Semua idea No matter how Tapi Senang itu, beli Tapi itu apa yang aku suka Pasal Squid Game But That's why I I cannot really hate it Because Squid Game Dia punya production value Memang tinggi It is Aku apa aku appreciate Pasal Korean kan Tak kisahlah dia buat music ke Dia buat film ke Dia buat apa They all Apa yang dia buat kemas itu, itu something that you really have to uh, punya, Applaud them for lah Ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Dia memang fantastic in terms of kekemasan. Ya, yeah, originality aku bagi kosong. Innovation aku bagi hantar. Uh, kreatif tak ada. Tak ada. Ya, yeah, there's no soul in it. Tapi walaupun ada soul, <laughs> the city. But anyway. So, dia ada ni. Dia ada, they have, the innovation is very good. Kau tengok macam, I've been uh, going through a phase listening only to Teddy Park punya song sebab Lisa punya solo drop kan. So, aku aku follow, aku follow, aku dengar lagu-lagu dia kan. Memang production dia memang best gila. Kau tahu sebenarnya. It's nothing new, but he does it so well. You know, and it's the same shit with with all the new movies. Kalau kau baca kenapa uh, Mamat uh, Parasite tu menang Oscars and whatever, they actually work towards yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, kita, and satu kali, orang Malaysia tak ada langsung hmm. planning tau. Oh, kita nak Oscars. Okay, who who's that guy? Kamil, Kamil yang cakap nak, oh, nak menang Oscars. What the fuck <laughs> you gonna do? What the fuck you gonna do? What's your fucking plan? Kita, kita, kita nak je. Ada lah kot, ada lah kot. Okay, fine. Okay, ada lah. Tulis borang hantar. Tulis borang hantar mungkin buat promotion. No, <laughs> kau tahu tak macam mana the Koreans got the bloody fucking thing. They set that guy over there to study how it's done, who wins it, whatever the fuck. And give them, okay, kau buat lah. Lepas tu dia buat. Dia buat buat buat. Lepas tu dia menang lah. It's, it's A, B, C. It's very fucking obvious. Tapi orang kita macam, okay, aku nak capai. Dia dia, dia, dia set goal best killer. Kita nak uh, apa uh, income uh, household income naik kepada RM10,000 uh, sebulan. Lepas tu macam mana? Tak tahu. Macam butong kau lah kan. Fuck you man. Bullshit. Kau pergi mampus lah. So every single time every single time semua orang macam tu lah. Like, macam oh kita nak naikkan kita punya revenue by 15%. Macam mana? Macam mana pandai korang lah. Macam tu kan. That's why I hire you for. Ha, that's why dia nah, dia betul, kalau betul, macam betul, kita betul. membawa kembali kepada like a smaller uh, orang kata a smaller uh, scale uh, production betul. kan macam sama betul. lah macam bila uh, contoh lah kan kalau macam TV station ke producer ke cakap dengan script writer oh I nak cerita ni best dia kata macam pasal kata oh, oh macam yeah, mana oh, nak yeah, cerita yeah, ni best eh hey, you fikir lah macam mana nak buat jadi best ok kepada graphic designer sini aku nampak Mogi apa semua the equivalent is can you make it more creative <laughs> can you make this design pop Eh hey, fuck you man <laughs> Kalau aku dengar lagi Siapa cakap aku Can you make this design Maka aku tumbuh Lepas tu ada the commenter man Kalau you tulis cerita 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 komedi kan And other commenter Mereka suka gila guna Push the comedy Push the comedy tu oh, eh God. Over really? the cliff <laughs> What you What do you want <laughs> Betul lah you know These, these things are Set by people Who don't know what <laughs> to say Yeah and feel as if they will have to say something. <laughs> okay. You know? So, macam betul lah. So, here's the thing. Uh, so, there's something you can do to improve the situation. Bila kau nak uh, get people to do something in the, in a different manner, can you give like, uh, especially kau punya <laughs> underlings or whatever lah, you know, aku tak expect kau suruh, suruh, uh, suruh the chairman of whatever, apa, Petronas ke whatever to do something different or whatever. But bila kau nak, uh, when you are in the position of power, kau minta orang tukar macam ni, be specific what aspect mm-hmm. yang kau nak tukar lah. What aspect you want to improve. And think, try to be empathic. Aku tahu empathy tak ada dalam bahasa Melayu, <laughs> but empathy. try to be empathic and <laughs> empathy. And fikir daripada pandangan orang tu, and how 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 do you want them to work, to function in order to make it better in your perspective, from your position. You know, aku tak tahu lah, berarti aku transit 9pm lah kot Tapi, that's whatever lah I'm being condescending <laughs> again So I shouldn't be doing that But uh, that's uh, that's that's what I that's what I think lah I think I think Malaysia dulu, kita sama taraf dengan South Korea tau No, And apparently then, we were better uh, we so I was talking, I was talking yes. to I, I, I borak dengan my dad When he went to uh, Tokyo punya International Film Festival Back in 1991 That was way back when. Uh, dia kata, South Korea punya filem masa tu teruk. Teruk gila sampaikan hmm. filem maker dia malu. Filem maker dia sendiri malu. Oh, yeah. <laughs> masa dia bila datang macam, because normally after yeah. screening, they will have like a discussion sama dia orang kan. 
dia punya filmmaker tu nampak macam very apologetic dan macam oh sorry sorry ni ini tak best uh, sorry 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 macam he kept on apologizing for for his movie because he, it was bad like it was really bad yeah once dia sampai sana dia tengok cerita orang lain eh ha once dia sampai sana and then dia tengok cerita orang lain dia macam oh teruk je filem aku dia macam tu dia rasa macam tu tu yang Malaysia tak ada malu tak malu pun betul tak? Kau berani letak sampah sarap dekat TV Sama ke sampah sarap, not all Hashtag not all productions, not all shows Tapi ada dah sampah sarap aku tengok kat TV macam Apa lancar kan? Apa kau letak kat situ? Kau buat apa? You know? Some of them are some, some, not all Hashtag not all productions I'm also from the production And I do some crap, I do some good stuff So you know, yeah, I understand uh, Tapi ada banyak lah I mean, that's from the audience punya point of view Which I don't think they would understand. I don't think, no, here's the thing, the audience is not expected to care. No, no, and, and they Peter shouldn't Peter also. Peter Tapi masalah, eh, bukanlah yeah. masalah macam, I mean, <laughs> yang menjadikan uh, benda kelakarnya bila, mereka kan ada seorang mamat tu cakap, uh, boleh cerita macam Squid Game ni, uh, okay apa, satu, lo- satu, satu location je, senang kot, senang. <laughs> Kepala otak kau satu location. I saw a few examples yeah, sebenarnya, yeah, boleh cerita yang simple macam, Sopranos is one, <laughs> Brooklyn Nine-Nine is another, ha, Brooklyn Nine- which by the way is 4 million one episode, Brooklyn, okay? Brooklyn Nine-Nine ah. pula. Hmm. <laughs> Five. Okay. All so right. whenever okay. they see right. yang macam tempat tu macam satu location macam, oh, uh, have you seen The Guilty? Oh, it's, it's morning. No, ah. So, uh, Netflix. Netflix. Netflix, Netflix yeah. So, like, if kalau kalau dia orang tengok The Guilty, mesti dia macam, ah, oh, tengok filem ni. Ada actor, main actor seorang je Lepas tu dia satu location je Ni ni mesti senang nak buat ni, ni mesti murah Yeah, that, that conversation has already happened Because I posted the po- apa letak poster uh-huh. kan And somehow ada lah traction So I'm seeing a lot of comments macam Like like you said lah, macam boleh je buat cerita bagus tapi murah No, it's not well, The guilty tak murah weh The guilty tak murah weh Sewa kamera eh, dia, dia pun dah lebih daripada uh, Lebih daripada bajet uh, ni apa nama perkhidmat uh, episode-episode kat Malaysia <laughs> ni? Uh, apa ni aku hmm. Aku ni lah, okay, katalah kita tolak tepi pelakon kan Sebab semua A-list uh-huh. Kita ambil pre-production, uh-huh. production dengan post-production saja. I say easily more than 5 million USD tu Yeah, yeah. once you well, tambah semua maybe 20 Sebab Netflix beli pun 30 million tau <coughs> So it's uh, gonna yeah. be in uh, that tapi, neighborhood Tapi itulah, dia orang, dia orang tak ada corruption kita, Oh sorry, <laughs> uh, tak, itu dah okay. uh, Yeah but but that's the thing lah, but they're not, uh, they want takkan faham lah, you know, it's, it's like It's not, but, uh, but it's until the, diorang tengok yang lower quality, then diorang will be able to tell the difference For example kan, you can watch The Guilty uh-huh. and then you can watch Kontena Ana It was a telemovie on Citra, Kontena yeah Ana. That was oh, made for okay. a few tens of thousands here, maybe 70,000 at okay. most right. So there's also like, eh hey, tapi uh, The Guilty eh, sebelum hmm. aku lupa The Guilty, aku tak, aku tak teruja nak tengok sebab aku pernah tengok something similar done by WWE Pictures called The Call oh, or something no, ada Halle Berry no, tu no dude no <laughs> is, it is it the same? it's not the same, it the same? this one is way better no. so I'll, I'll tell you I'll spoil I'll spoil The Call or some uh-huh. shit like that you see I don't know whether it's uh, similar or not I hope it's not similar sebab then I have something to look uh, to look forward to okay so anyway so it's about Halle Berry duduk dia macam uh, mm. 911 dispatcher dia dapat phone call from this girl yang tengah kena abduct ke benda apa semua so they're trying to piece together shit whatever and manage whatever tapi for some reason Halle Berry pula pergi keluar dia dispatcher yeah I saw that movie dia pula pergi yeah. keluar yeah no tak oh, lain sama lain <laughs> okay okay so okay lah fine this so, one I, I would make it, it closer to macam searching or buried or phone booth no phone booth hmm. yeah along it's those lines lah. searching I think alright alright right. that's, that's great that's another movie boleh tengok Oh, yang bajet rendah ni, bajet rendah <laughs> Bajet rendah Bajet <laughs> rendah Eh susah lah No lah, no, I mean like eh, Ini tak boleh marah dia orang Sebab apa, uh, bukan bukan dia orang punya line of work Jadi dia orang tak familiar sangat Jadi kita boleh faham benda tu Cuma, bila uh, dia, dia macam ni tau You tak tahu tentang sesuatu And then you basically shoot your mouth off Which is fine, a lot of uh, a lot of us do that kadang-kadang sebab out of frustration ke apa ke Tapi bila diberitahu Daripada orang yang memang bekerja Dekat dalam industri tu The reality of things The breakdown of things kan uh, Dia orang masih mempertahankan Dia orang punya <laughs> Macam like Eh tak M- Mana ada Macam Satu siapa Sebab masih <laughs> Malu Tak ada perasaan yeah, If it gets to that point I leave it alone lah Which is why I, I put an end to it 
Macam oh this guy tak berminat Dia macam dia punya Memang kata pasal anak dia tu Anak dia cakap eh dia nak mainan So uh, member aku bapak dia cakap Tak boleh tak ada duit Dia cakap apa susah Pergilah suruh mak pergi ke bank tu Beratur depan meja tu lepas tu, <laughs> nah, dia, dia, dia macam tu Lebih kurang yeah, macam so, tu tak yeah, jauh, so, tak jauh daripada itu. <laughs> is it, is it, would you, would you say is also lack of empathy? Because in principle, benda ni aku rasa tak ada beza dengan uh, isu minimum oh, wage. Uh, no, I, aku rasa is, yeah, uh, it's true. Then aku rasa the overriding uh, benda pasal manusia ialah they want to be better than other people. They want to be seen as better than other people. So, antara benda ni yang paling senang, yang people are very passionate about is to shit on local production. <laughs> aku pun buat, I enjoy it. Uh, everyone does it because it's yeah, easy, yeah. it's an easy target. Yeah. Tengok, kau tengok filem bodoh, ah bodohnya <laughs> bergelak dia sebab dia punya budget. Budget untuk kostum ialah macam RM5,000 itu pun bagi kat adik Ipa dia buat or something like that. Which is okay. So, memang Tapi kan, when presented with huh? facts, I, 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 I was just, aku just rasa pelik lah orang tolak terus tepi tau. Tapi macam Amir punya teori lah, yeah, dia macam aku mau dilihat super. Dia macam tu, like when you present them with facts, <laughs> diorang akan macam mana boleh dia ni lagi tahu daripada aku? It doesn't matter, you kerja daripada industri tu ke, tidak ke, they don't care about that. It's like macam, I gave out something, yes, I, I, gave, out, I, gave, I, I gave out something that 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 <coughs> that can pass off as a fact, datang mamat ni bagi tahu fakta <coughs> yang sebenar, mana boleh? Ha, macam, that is so hmm. weird to me, dia macam energy yang <coughs> pakai tadi lah. Kalau nak buat shopping mall macam ke 10 juta <laughs> And then kalau orang kata tak boleh buat, I akan bagi tu ala- I kata tu alasan You know, it's, eh, tak faham lah Yeah, well, we, we see that every day dekat Twitter kan Tak bila apa, ada Ada uh, Macam forces atau teroris datang Mendarat dekat Sabah tu, tiba-tiba semua orang jadi macam Amca General <laughs> kan Oh, kenapa tak? Kenapa tak? Kenapa tak pakai kita punya kereta kembar kan? Kereta kembar kita masuk dalam tu tembak orang tu sana mati Aduh, Masa tu suka teror Apa benda? So it's like tiba-tiba pula macam true, yeah. Oh sebenarnya kita And Every single time there's something There's always the experts coming in Like I call them the minute, the minute man. man Macam bila ada orang cakap eh The minute sebab seminit dia expert tau Seminit dia expert Macam kau google Lepas tu macam oh, aku, Menurut aku dah buat kajian macam ni Kau tu kajian dia apa? Dia pergi google Eh, hey, fuck off lah. Setelah dia kajian Google tu. Okay. Google, googling and reading stuff, kalau kau read lah, is a legit form of research. It's called literature review. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tapi you cannot say that kau dah buat kajian. And kajian kau semua 100% literature review in which kau wank and kau pergi Google and kau baca Wikipedia atau links kat bawah Wikipedia tu other people study yang kau tak baca sampai habis tu. Fuck off. <laughs> Tapi orang kita tak malu <laughs> pun tu tak. Pergi cakap aku dah buat kajian. Kenapa kau tak buat kajian? Macam Uh, ada orang datang aku cakap, Amir, kenapa kau tak buat dalam berong tu? Kenapa tak ada apa? Uh, meriam uh, uh, meriam oh, Melayu. Yeah, aku yeah, cakap, yeah. dude, datang tu first century. Kalau aku buat first century, uh, gunpowder was discovered when? Six, uh, 600 well, apa? Hmm. AD or some shit. So, macam mana nak ada meriam kat zaman tu tak boleh lah. Saya whatever the part. Tapi, oh, tak ada. Aku dah google. I whatever. wonder if you ever come across this because ni is this is something I saw somewhere else tau. Masa dulu aku main, raja main forum kan. They question kenapa hmm. Roman semua pakai smart tapi dekat tanah Melayu ni tak ada yang pakai baju Melayu. <laughs> aku macam pantek kau lah malas aku layan. <laughs> yeah but but that's that's guilty pleasures lah. Aku consider all these things about it's like macam what? Tapi sekarang ni okay kau tahu impact menatang tu ialah bila kita jumpa dengan anti-vaxxer. Okay, uh, They're yes, using the yes, same yes, research same methodology. Yeah same argument tactic, same whatever so lepas dia orang dah kibak dah pun semua macam tu aku rasa salah sebabnya <laughs> I didn't kill all of them <laughs> malu ke dia orang uh, masuk ke rasa malu balik ke dalam dia orang uh, tarik balik that sastrawan negara patut tarik balik that, that, that sajak yang supaya apa uh, anak tu apa, uh, apa jadi kurang ajar tu no no that's wrong that's wrong <laughs> dia orang kena malu balik sebab malu and sekarang ni sebab tu kita ada anti-vaxxers yang cakap kau orang tak payah kena vax tak payah kena vaksin dan semua vaksin ni akan tukar kau jadi macam 5G lah oh. jadi Android lah jadi whatever the fuck lah all these things kan eh. so this is what happens in society when you allow these motherfuckers to flourish <laughs> dia core dia values tahu, or lack thereof or lack thereof <laughs> sama je you can apply in all industries be kesihatan ke pendidikan uh, ke perfilman ke se- semua it's across the board <laughs> Benda ni masalah across the board. Mm-hmm. Jadi pasal tu bila macam kalau macam mm-hmm. masuk dalam sebarang di, diskusi pasal industri perfilman lah apa semua. I macam 
Tak sekarang ni masalah kita adalah kita punya core values. Ini masalah kita. Dia akan affect semua benda. You akan you kalau you nak cuba try soft on a higher tier, tak boleh sebab dia punya lowest tier ni tak tak settle lagi. Yeah, actually yeah, it's all the, all yeah. three tiers semua tengah ada problem over the part. So this very little uh, <laughs> we can do unless unless uh, the fastest way is to replace <laughs> everyone including myself including you guys including everyone so to my love the aliens need to come abduct everyone and replace us with other people <laughs> yeah under the same core values then that will solve the problem lah but you know it, it you know it's it's not it's not it's, it's not, not a tenable it's solution <laughs> it's, not, it's, it's not a viable solution it's not even a possible thing unless it's in the world of death games okay <laughs> Games boleh je. Macam apa benda ni? Like, oh, death game. Kenapa lah? No, of all things, of all things, kenapa si Korean ni pergi buat death game? Buatlah genre lain. Boleh tak? Uh, high aku tak suka <laughs> sangat. Tapi okay. Uh, zombie memang aku menyampah. Aku tak suka gila zombie. Tapi dia orang dah buat train tebusan. Yeah, okay. But, yeah. you know. But, uh, I don't know lah. I mean, get something else lah. Not horror. Tolonglah jangan horror. But something else. I don't know. Western ke, menatang apa benda ke. But not death game, please. Aku tak suka. <laughs> oh, jadi. Uh, for me <laughs> lah. Ini personal is, preference. Preference kau lah. Yeah, it's, it's only that lah. So, aku, aku tak ada shit on people yang nak suka-suka. Yeah. Game suka thing kau lah. You know, it's like whatever. It's... Okay, I mean, it's not a... It's, it's actually a good yeah. production. Uh, so far, aku sempat uh, tengok. Yeah, Nowadays, so it's not bad lah. I'm quite intrigued. No lah. I mean... Aku tengok benda, aku tengok benda, benda 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 simple je. Uh, there is a market for everything. So, yeah. b- hmm. buat jelah everything. <laughs> Maksudnya kita I certainly do. Ha, <laughs> uh, kan. Semua benda yang masuk email semua I tahu. Exactly. What this Yalah, masuk kerja, email. Uh, apa-apa job offer yang masuk email yang masuk WhatsApp semua aku accept lah. Uh. Unless I don't have time for it. Uh. Dengkinya aku dah sakit so aku <laughs> tak ambil semua. In job. fact nowadays kan aku Uh, benda pertama aku tanya or oh, benda awal yang aku tanya bukan payment tau aku akan tanya how how much time do you need from me oh uh, yeah yeah actually time is the most valuable resource actually hmm. and tak ada masa always dia nak macam so, uh, bila aku nak script ni it's like oh, you know, it's, uh, <laughs> yesterday uh, uh, and always aku aku dulu uh, I got I got to the front sebab aku bidang terjun yeah 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 same so it's always like bila tadi fuck up uh, yeah so we have the same the same ni how we got all these jobs is because uh, it's been abandoned by other people and we we clean yeah. up the in shit fact, lah. in fact one of my earliest jobs aku dapat pada engkau tau kita tak kenal pergi time tu what? Uh, time kita tak kenal pergi me, apa uh, meng- uh, mengungkap me- memori silam macam mana bertemu Sweet yeah. Okay, Mama akan cerita. Okay, what happened was aku memang tak ada aspirations tu jadi screenwriter tau. But then time okay. tu aku macam baru drop out and masa depan nampak gelap gila. Aku just fikir mm-hmm. apa kerja yang aku boleh ambil tanpa memulakan modal banyak. Uh, aku, I will mm-hmm. do it lah. So, one day uh, aku masa aku main Twitter, aku nampak mm-hmm. kau tanya siapa yang boleh pergi Thailand tau. Untuk buat uh, hmm. travel log. Ah, uh, so okay. aku mention kau and you let me to someone else. One thing like to another, lah. aku dapat lah job travel log di Thailand tu. Really, I pass a travel log to Thailand. That's what, what I was, was so was amazed this? about bila dia cerita dekat aku cerita ni, Ami. I'm like, Ami didn't want to go to Thailand. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, wait. You did mention masa tu kau tak lekukan negara. Oh yeah, masa tu aku ada problem dengan ah. PTN. Aku refuse. <laughs> like fuck you with the end. Pasal tu lah. I paid everything with the end like 2011 or something. So, yeah, it's before that. Okay. So that's how his writing career started. Right. Yes. Okay, oh, credit okay. is one of them. Oh, right. yeah. <laughs> oh okay. Cool, cool. Well, you know. Uh, yeah. Enjoy. Hey, really, you know, that's really my first writing job lah. That was my first writing job. Oh, okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. First writing job aku, aku tulis food review untuk satu macam Malaysian food guide or some shit. I don't know whether that guy is still alive. If he is, you know, <laughs> I, I didn't get paid at all. I got paid by the food that I review. <laughs> Which is, was it at But least good? I got to everything. I ate, I got, I ate apples, I ate, I ate caviars, I ate the, the best oh, okay restaurants yeah. in KL. Nice. Okay so, lah. So, so, yeah, it's like, it's crazy. Yeah, it's, it was good. I, I had escargot. Escargot is quite good, actually. Escargot is a snails, right? 
Yes. Snails. <laughs> yes. It's really good. It's uh, well, the thing is that the taste of the snail is actually overpowered by the garlic ah. butter. So, so you kind of Does it actually taste like so a balloon? The taste of uh-uh. Balloon. <laughs> No, that's the thing. Yeah, I'm going to ask you. Guys, I'll grab dulu, okay? All right. All right, all right. Have fun, guys. Thank you so much. Okay. Kita Thank jumpa you. kat Clubhouse pula. Yeah, all right. Betul. Uh, kat Clubhouse pula. Ellie, yeah. Ellie mesti macam stress. Macam dia masuk mana-mana je macam semua orang akan, dia baru nak dengar orang yeah. akan jemput dia jadi speaker. <laughs> Itulah. <laughs> Goodbye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye. Siapa nak jadi speaker yang lain? Boleh, boleh minta. Eh, ni Johan ada. Saya, saya, saya Johan. Johan. Hey, oh. Ya, mari-mari Invite to speak Invite Oh, jam pun ada ni Oh, jam, aku nak, aku nak jam aku, aku, aku request lah kalau aku tak nak Tak nak, nak. apakan daya Jangan macam tu kan Eh, hey, requested, siapa requested ni? Uh, ah, mari-mari okay. Hello, Tengku Iskandar Aku aku dah cakap apa aku cakap Basically, aku <laughs> salah ke semua orang Senang, senang, semua orang salah. salah Senang semua yang kau complain about the other people betul, is betul. true. Betul, betul. No, no. Be- betul, because like baru-baru ni pun yeah. ada tweet daripada Wan Hasdiza and dia cakap benda sama dan dia tanya salah siapa. I felt like replying salah semua orang. <laughs> semua orang salah. Sebabnya bersusah tau untuk kita keep our industry down kalau semua orang tak boleh sama <laughs> canangkan dan sabotage. <laughs> It's true. It is a responsibility of other people. Okay. Siapa yang datang? Hello. Hello. Dude. Yes. Kamu bincang apa? Apa kata? Okay, baik baik. Yeah. Interesting discussion yang buat saya marah juga lah beberapa hari lalu tengok. Kamu ni? Saya kutuk sendiri kan. So kepada siapa yang saya kutuk tadi, ada tak minit saya semua salah. Fakta saya semua salah. <laughs> Cepat <Kau> gila kau faham. <laughs> okay, yeah. uh, saya cuma nak saya buat peskit lah pasal topik ni. Uh, sebab uh, kalau nak cakap pasal script writing kan kalau, uh, Ada beberapa beberapa kali lah saya dengar yang Banyak orang cakap kan macam Malaysia ni Miskin script writer baik lah, bagus lah apalah itu. Which is sebenarnya Saya saya tak setuju juga lah sebab dulu saya apa Jadi film lecture dekat MMU Dan hmm. apa saya apa, saya mengajar lah tiga tahun kat sana dan tak setiap batch uh, student yang masuk tu tak pernah kurang idea-idea yang bagus lah yang bagus saya I mean like macam ya yeah, dia uh, orang sikit writing okay tu which is yang tapi kalau nak kalau saya juga setuju dengan apa yang Cik Amir cakap tadi yang cakap pasal uh, Benda ni ada salah dekat audience juga yang mengenable benda ni dan ada juga salah filmmaker sebab kenapa tak buat <laughs> which is yang mamat yang hari tu yang pada tahu tu dia cakap kenapa tak buat jadi sebenarnya ada betulnya juga which is masa saya mengajar dulu dia macam uh, saya memang dapat rasa lah yang orang Malaysia ni especially Melayu dia banyak self self censorship tau dia macam tahan hmm. tak dia dia macam dia nak buat yang dia nak buat yang uh, I don't like this term tapi dia nak buat macam out of the box sikit dia nak buat macam wild sikit oh. tapi memang merasa gila dia, dia dia tahan diri dia tu because of that self censorship lah macam tak sedap dengan bapak lah tak sedap dengan norma masyarakat lah apa semua tu saya dulu sekolah dekat uh, Jakarta sekolah film hmm. dan memang lain gila dia punya apa vibes dia macam senior ada buat apa Uh, yeah, benda-benda macam tu lah macam sini ada buat scene sex lah apalah which is uh, which is tak, uh, tak, tak tak mesti buat macam tu tak, uh, tapi I mean macam uh, dalam beberapa tahun dalam 5-10 tahun yang lalu ni saya rasa macam saya sebagai dulu masih suara filem dan sekarang dan beberapa tahun lepas saya sebagai lecturer filem uh, filem ni saya tak ada yang sangkut saya saya rasa hmm. benda tu macam uh, Ya yeah, like you guys said lah macam banyak Dia punya masalah je memang bercabang lah Tapi kalau nak cakap pasal kekurangan bakat ah uh, No that is wrong Sebab dulu pun masa saya, masa saya cakap uh. tadi lah Dekat sekolah filem yang saya ngajar tu memang banyak gila bakat Dan jamin okay. dalam 2-3 orang 
uh, student saya dulu kalau sekarang Finas bagi Finas uh, macam bagi dia full scholarship apa tak ya kerja apa buat filem je dia boleh menang kat kan sekarang lokal kan orang macam tu saya saya setuju saya setuju dan saya tak cakap satu benda yang uh, uh, satu point tadi I, I think what you're saying is correct, correct kita ada cukup bakat and one of these days despite the problems dekat level administration the policy makers and whatever film makers and the audience someone is going to make or some people have already made perhaps uh, film-film atau karya-karya yang best-best sebenarnya kita dah nampak tanda-tanda uh, kiamatnya <laughs> uh, dalam <laughs> Yeah, it's the end yeah. of the world lah basically oh. lepas when we make all this. And I think it's just a matter of time. Satu hari nanti, uh, when the stars are aligned, despite uh, the attempts of sabotage by everyone involved, audience, filmmakers and policy makers, kita akan dapat, uh, aku rasa, karya yang best. Tapi bukan daripada aku lah. Because orang yang tengah buat uh, film yang best atau karya yang best atau siri TV yang best macam Squid Game, kalau Squid Game is the best series in the world, whatever, Orang tu, dia tak cakap pasal filem ni semua. Dia tak ada dalam Twitter Spaces, dia, dia, dia tak ada dalam Clubhouse, dia tak ada dalam Facebook Live. Dia, dia tengah Betul. sibuk buat kerja dia. Okay, orang lain ni yang cakap-cakap, banyak cakap ni macam aku dan <laughs> apa semua ni, memang kita orang takkan buat. Kadang-kadang yes. yang best-best pun. In my case, Sebab aku punya mentality macam aku ni tukang pahit tau. <laughs> Tapi untuk script writing, you need me to go. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Eh, dude, actually, I have the same approach. To me, script writing has become like problem yeah. solving. Amir, kita pernah menonton dalam masa dua hari. <laughs> Fuck you! <laughs> so, okay, fine. So, lepas tu, client, client nak apa? Okay, client nak macam ni, macam ni, macam ni. Okay, fine. Okay, let's let's do this lah. So, let's... Uh, kalau macam ni, macam ni. Oh, kalau macam ni, tak boleh pula sebab ni ada problem. So, that's that's my experience of script writing. Uh, tapi, tapi sebenarnya tadi nak sentuh pasal uh, Tengku Isyana ada cakap pasal censorship kan? Censorship ni is a funny hmm. thing tau. Sebab apa? Ah... Uh, Human the way human psychology works kalau you sekat-sekat sekat sangat orang buat something kan so they will only work in opposite ex- extremes tau sama ada dia buat benda yang macam totally uh, within the apa nama ni censorship punya punya uh, what, whatever censorship allows and then the ones yang mm-hmm. yeah, and then they, they go to the other extreme where the moment dia orang dapat buat something is uh, macam ni sex violence semua benda yang tak tak berkaitan ataupun tak membuatkan cerita tu best pun. Ya, yeah, industri buku dah berlalu dah fasa. Ah, ha, industri buku <laughs> alhamdulillah fasa ni dah mula berlalu. Ah, <laughs> uh, tapi that's that's how censorship. That's how um that's how censorship akan ah uh, yeah. repress uh, kita punya creativity lah dari segi ada yang ramai yang akan follow <laughs> ataupun terpaksa follow. Dan dek kerana uh, censorship yang terlampau tu the People tend to go to the opposite extreme yang macam Terus pergi sana eh, ter, Terbalik dengan kalau macam know. kita bagi orang buat kan If people give people some leeway and kita bagi orang buat apa yang orang nak buat You would be surprised Benda-benda yang orang nak buat bukan ekstrim pun Ya, yeah, the best Contoh, Sorry. contoh Sekejap, saya uh, uh, suggest nak sokong uh, Nat punya point Contoh, uh, aku suka tengok pornografi. <laughs> so, especially in the 90s, in the 90s, aku cakap tau, the most depraved forms of pornography came from the countries yang ada. Yeah, ya, betul. Lah. That's true, that's true. Benarkan kau berkarya, tapi tak benarkan kau express everything. Uh, bukan-bukan berkarya, <laughs> maksud aku, macam dia benarkan kerja, tapi tak benarkan kau jadi manusia sangat. So, macam Japan, German punya pornografi, Japanese punya pornografi. And sekarang ni, kita tengok, aku, aku kena tengok cerita. Aku tahu semua orang lain tak tengok pornografi, tapi aku, <laughs> uh, aku tengok. Uh, South Korea. South Korea punya pornografi is growing by leaps and bounds. Porn leads the way. Kalau kau nak tengok negara mana yang akan ke depan, kau tengok dia punya porno. So, memang best gila. Aku cakap, oh, sorry, bukan best. Maksud aku macam, uh, dari segi kualiti, uh, apa? Kualiti uh, production dia, uh, jalan cerita, skrip, pornografi dia memang power nak mampu. Dia menepati semua kinks uh, and all these things lah. Ya, yeah, memang bagi aku is not some, it's not easy eh, untuk kau excel dalam that uh, that feel lah, pornografi. Okay, anyway, so okay. Teruskan. Oh no. Uh, semua orang dah stuck lah sebab muka cakap pun. Tak, tak. Aku ingat tu. Aku ingat tu pun sekadar dengan benda yang cakap ni. Okay, yeah, sorry, sorry. Aku, ya, yeah, aku cakap, okay. Go ahead. Sorry, tu je kot. Macam, <laughs> tapi aku kata yang macam, 
orang Malaysia macam secara umumnya lah yang kita tengok kat Twitter macam cakap tadi kan yang is Twitter bubble tu macam dia senang impress dengan something like Squid Game tu which is aku setuju dah dengan macam yang kau orang cakap macam benda tu aku tengok fun Squid Game tu tapi ya benda tak ada benda baru sebenarnya tu tapi orang kita macam sangat senang impress tu aku bagi aku lah pendapat aku macam dia macam projecting uh, projecting something yang di mana kita nak tengok filem kita ni macam selalu banyak sensitif patut bila tengok filem luar atau series luar tu macam uh, terlalu senang teruja tu I, I think lah contoh lah <laughs> Tengok sekarang tak? Aku, aku nak tanya tu benda macam uh, ada orang yang uh, yang, yang cakap uh, kat aku sebenarnya kenapa Malaysia tak boleh nak macam menang menang Oscars ke which is like bullshit you don't need that ataupun uh, make better films is because kita tak ada budaya filem and uh, places yang ada budaya filem uh, ialah places yang culture dia tinggi macam kat Indonesia kat Korea dekat Jepun and whatever else so do you agree and uh, first of all what yeah. is Always budaya has the same film? thing yeah aku rasa kita and ada how do we study aku rasa uh, aku rasa bukan saja tak ada budaya filem tapi secara umumnya kurang appreciation terhadap seni kot dan budaya dan budaya oh, juga yeah, kurang appreciation yeah, terhadap seni dan budaya and I think <laughs> tak nak I mean like kita tak nak lah we don't want to blame I, I'm not blaming religion I'm blaming the interpretation of religion yang membuatkan yang hmm. menyekat benda-benda ni yang pasal tu sebab kalau kita tengokkan budaya kita semua dulu-dulu I mean like kita ada wayang kulit lah mak yung lah apa semua we were quite rich in budaya menonton budaya menonton ni sebenarnya agak 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 ah ag- ha, budaya ha, budaya menonton ni agak ag- agak terkenal lah di kalangan di kalangan orang kita cuma it has now been suppressed or oppressed or whatever you want to call it dek kerana macam oh tak boleh buat benda ni sebab benda ni macam haram oh tak boleh buat benda ni orang perempuan tak boleh orang perempuan tak boleh buat benda ni, tak boleh lengkut-lengkut kamadan dan sangkatan dengannya. Oh, kita tak boleh buat filem macam ni sebab filem macam ni uh, tak bermoral uh, ataupun uh, melanggar agama contoh dan sebagainya. Sedangkan, sedangkan seni saja tak terlalu mendapat tempat hmm. di masa lagi filem. Macam contohnya lah, tak payah cakap, tak payah jauh-jauh dekat sekolah je macam mana tu. Murid masalah sikit, ha, teruslah masuk. Uh, tak tahulah saya tak sekolah kat sini <laughs> Macam murid masalah sikit So pergi apa aliran seni lah Apa macam tu lah Tapi kalau nak cakap macam tu Dekat uh, Johor dulu Yayasan Johor something like that Dia orang buat macam hmm. untuk co-curriculum Semua budak Semua, budak, uh, semua pelajar, murid whatever uh, Kena pilih elektif yang macam Zapin Ataupun Boleh because it's within the limits It can still prosper Because it's still within the limits of uh, Agama you see I know but, but here's the thing even that even that aku mesti kenapa benda tu dibuat dekat Johor je that thing was fantastic kenapa tak buat satu Malaysia <laughs> itulah tak tahu I will never know the answer uh, to that okay. but on a more yeah. superficial level kan I mean hmm? these are the things we often talk about and memang susah kita nak turn the tide tapi kalau if we're talking <laughs> about entertainment as an industry kan mm-hmm. uh Maybe I'm defining it the wrong way tapi aku rasa kita ada budaya filem in the sense that orang Malaysia ni dia boleh tengok cerita apa pun. You know, Filipino ke, Mongolia ke, Brazil Brazil ke. Kalau macam dekat US, ada subtitle je dia orang tak nak tengok dah. Hmm, sebenarnya so, budaya I menonton kita lagi power lah. Ya, yeah, which is why we get all these comparisons. Kenapa kita tak buat macam US, tak buat macam filem yang 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 lagi besar industri dia, which is almost like comparing hmm warung gerai dengan restoran South Bay tu you cannot compare lah we, we are a smaller industry so is it the case tapi dia boleh is it the case kau of kita terlalu expose dengan uh, entertainment luar sampai kita tak faham value AI entertainment tu sendiri sebenarnya no lah i think i think dia orang sengaja je sengaja i think they dia orang sengaja je they want to feel security <laughs> So, uh, they, they pick on easy targets Kira-kira lah. macam, oh, yang dia macam bukanlah nak cakap kita teruk sangat Cuma nak cakap, oh aku tengok cerita Iran lah, macam tu lah eh ha, Itulah, basically, ah uh, messaging dia, signal dia tu lah Macam, I tengok film ni Again, dia berbalik kepada core values lah 
Okay <laughs> <laughs> lagi dia boleh balik Mana kau balik Macam tak? macam dulu lah sebenarnya Eh Syai Syai tak ada benda tambah Tak ada benda Syai Eh Ada je aku dah ingat Okay dia nak dengar Dia nak Okay lah fine tak apa Kita tak ada paksa-paksa orang Tak ada pasal dalam Twitter space Siapa, siapa lagi nak uh, cakap apa-apa We can actually pass the mic to you Kalau nak apa-apa Or any questions ke uh, Anyone Semen, se- se- sementar- ter- Sementara tu lah ah, Sementara ah, kalau ada orang nak bersuara hmm. kan? I I always find that hmm. Kalau uh, berbincang pasal hal Industri, industri filem lah Apa semua, kalau masuk clubhouse semua, And then semua orang akan macam mempersoalkan Uh, kenapa kenapa kita tak boleh jadi macam ni kenapa kita tak boleh jadi macam tu kan uh, sebenarnya for as long as our policy makers or for as long as our uh, nation as a whole tak boleh nampak uh, industri perfilman ataupun industri, industri seni budaya ni sebagai satu industri yang boleh meningkatkan ekonomi they will not care and they will not put it into any orang kata Uh, program uh, um, untuk mas- masa depan lah kita apa bawa. jadah lah dia orang memang takkan kita policy makers kita babi eh uh, <laughs> dia orang tak, tak faham dan benda tu so, dia orang tak faham yang benda tu boleh berlaku because Korea has already proven it uh, yeah it's not just it's not just economic no uh, something that we need to focus on because aku boleh jadi gila sebab MCO ni and the pandemic and I, i'm sure that a lot of more people are also going crazy uh, we need things like arts and culture to help us do the recovery portion later on bila kita dah tak kira berapa ratus orang mati setiap hari uh, pada masa tu yang kita meneruskan kehidupan kita seperti biasa during that time during that recovery period we need arts and culture we need to make things that uh, orang akan tanya okay way. katalah aku 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 main devil's advocate eh so aku akan tanya hmm? kau why 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 we need arts and culture after we recover why No, I'm sorry. Uh, can you repeat that without the tone because I cannot... No, why do we need arts and culture? Why? Uh, because what else is there to live for? You tak, you you tak boleh on, pakai... If you were to use that vague punya orang kata, <laughs> that very vague, uh, oh, what else is there to live for? Uh, Diorang takkan faham benda tu. Diorang tak faham benda tu. Okay, sorry, sorry. No, it's fun. It creates jobs. Uh, You know, it makes people Oh, happy. they don't, they, they won't care lah. It, uh, these are all the things that they won't care no. about. If people are happy, they won't rise up against you and topple your stupid Now, <laughs> now you're talking. So basically to use uh, entertainment as a form of like opium. Candu lah. Candu lah, yeah. basically kan. Tapi kalau keluar benda-benda yang jenis macam Uh, of course, kalau dia nak control the messaging Suruh cakap uh, pasti politik dia power Dia punya ni power Memang uh, not going to work lah FIFA Because be, right be now uh, I think uh-huh. They view the uh-huh. arts As a movement And a movement can easily be used against them So why would they fund something yeah. That would move against them? That's the thing lah You know, it's like They do actually even find NGOs kata kan. So I don't think I mean, that they would be against it. Lah. Uh, yeah. Okay. They do, uh, okay, what, what I'm saying is they do actually fund even NGOs. You know that NG, some NGOs get government hmm. grants or whatever the hell. So they are not averse to funding people who would be moving against them. I don't know why. Most probably because they see people as ineffective yeah. against them anyway. It keeps people happy. It's the thing. As long as you keep people happy doing this shit, all the stage performances, the movies, songs, cultural shows, whatever the fuck, the less people are inclined to actually go to the streets and fucking burn your car or something like that. So, we, we really, I mean, even for people who uh, traditionally are entrenched in the bloody fucking thing, the deep state. Uh, yeah, something's uh, wrong with your name. Hmm. Your mu- your something's wrong with your name. Hello? Hello? Oh, really? Yeah? Either okay. it's not plugged in correctly or i don't know what uh, no, no, can you hear me now okay so i have to talk like this lah i'm going to talk directly to the mic so basically i'm saying that uh they are not averse to uh funding uh all these organizations that or ngos or whatever that might be against them so i think with all the positive things that you could get that the society could get and they could get themselves the evil people could get from uh from uh, supporting the arts and whatever else, I think they should consider it. 
because the more people are concerned about talking whether this series is better than that series or <laughs> is this series uh, uh, whatever then the less they're going to talk about how much money you spend yeah. from but this I feel as though you're going whatever. deeper or rather smarter than how they actually are dia orang punya pemikiran oh, shadow yeah, yeah, je yeah. can this bring money into my pocket simple kau uh, yeah, kau yeah. go deep so, sangat yeah. tu so that's why i'm going to pataya <laughs> to pataya is i'm not part, i don't think i'm part of the solution i just don't want to be part of the problem so i'm going to remove myself from a lot of these things i don't think i have enough time to do uh, like a magnum opus show or whatever that would change the entire landscape or the bloody fucking thing so my personal thing is to retire uh, peacefully in pataya and enjoy <laughs> my life until i die you know so the question actually of squid game ke apa semua you want to do that game game that was like eh, what can i do i mean i i, I think the the discussions around yeah, it yeah. is fun and but... and uh, apa nama ni uh, past fellas trying to uh, get people to not promote it also that's is that, fun <laughs> oh yeah oh, that's 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 brilliant that's brilliant that's going to be people uh, want to watch it even uh, more <laughs> called, it's called the strike sense effect you stupid <laughs> bitch pass <laughs> <laughs> then go <laughs> the strike sense effect look it up the more you want to cover up something online the more people Macam are going to follow it people are just going to move to the opposite extreme lah Ya, bodoh nak mampu sana. Aku macam, no, this is, these are the things yang aku marah tau. It's not even... It's stupidity. It's stupidity. <laughs> I can't take it lah. Tolong lah, nak buat jahat. Kau buat jahat lah. pun at least pandai lah eh. <laughs> yeah, and the problem is, the problem is it works. The kejahatan yang bodoh-bodoh ni semua, itu yang jalan. Dia dia curi duit, lepas tu dia beritahu orang, sebenarnya aku curi ni untuk kau. People <laughs> believe it. I was like, okay. I was like, what? Ja, okay oh. lah, at least dia curi untuk aku. <laughs> Ayah, aku dapat tiga tinggit. Aku macam, what? <laughs> well, that's not the point. The point is stealing is wrong. <laughs> yeah. Lying is wrong. Core values lah, tak betul. Eh? Maksudnya, the, the, the whole stealing is wrong to go... Uh... No, no. There's always, there's always a loophole. Stealing is wrong unless... Uh, you know, it's for me. You know, macam tu lah. It's always like that. So, yeah, I'm always, because of I'm that, always we'll the exception. Macam tu. Right, I'm always not the, the rule. Exception. I'm always the exception. Uh, kahwin budak... Salah, tapi yeah, No, tak ada no. tapi Apa yang tapi <laughs> kan? yeah. Actually, yeah, it's, it's like that So, anyway, it's that's quite a Dark yeah. tone to To hang off on Lighter tone, uh, lighter tone so, uh, Lighter tone, lighter tone uh, so, uh, Okay, here's the thing Even in Korea, I don't think that Something like Squid Game could work Even in Japan, I don't think Any of the death games could hey, work Hey, I read because, something uh, quite interesting Uh, I I haven't watched Minari. Mm-hmm. Have you watched Minari? Mm, no. Oh, I've yeah, heard about it. The, the, the supposedly um, critically acclaimed uh, Korean movie lah. It's American made Korean movie. American made movie. Korean movie, correct. Yeah. So, um, despite the accolades and despite all the macam, wow, best ni cerita ni and like uh, 10% of the South Korean population actually going oh best ni cerita ni kan um, apparently the 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 majority of South Korean people mainly the TV watching housewives so TV watching housewives are everywhere and they do make up the mass of uh, the ratings mm. that are on TV anywhere in the world so so yes, yes, the the dekat sana the majority of them macam uh, pelikihkan aja minari ni sebab dia orang tak faham apa strugglenya minari because it's about it's about a okay i i read i think i read right, the same right. article it's about the korean ha, american dia about yeah. macam my, macam dia orang dia orang dia orang they, they were immigrants and then macam betapa uh-huh, susahnya yes. hidup dekat sana and what not kan so like the macam yes, yes. <laughs> macam mm-hmm. yang duduk di south korea who have a good life basically a good comfortable life in south korea are going like macam Sebenarnya tak faham kenapa dia nak kena macam pergi susah payah, pergi dekat sana eh. Dia orang boleh je duduk dekat sini, happy-happy macam yeah. uh, comfortable dekat sini. No, no, kenapa uh, dia think, nak susahkan diri dia? Macam I, I, think, I, think, I think one of the things is like macam dia orang dapat bungkusan makanan tau. Lepas tu macam to 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 the people in Minari, it's like oh it's a big thing because they get food from Korea. Ah, something something from about Korean food, food like, right? Yeah. Like, they would have um, uh, apa, bulgogi, ah, 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 ah. bulgogi, whatever the hell lah they eat lah. Like. Lepas tu tiba-tiba macam dia macam, eh, apa hal pula? Aku boleh pergi kedai sebelah. Ha, so, dia macam tak faham. Dia macam, and, and, 
And what is this big deal about like migrating to another place? Nobody forced you to. Uh, nobody ask you to. You boleh je duduk dekat Korea ni. Uh, ni. You yang nak sebo-sebo nak pergi. Lepas tu, yang ses- you yang sengsara-sengsara sendiri. Lepas tu, you make a film out of it and macam we are supposed to empathize with you. Uh, dia macam tu lah. The general, orang kata the general response of it. And I'm like, yeah, hmm. actually. So, maksudnya, you kena, you kena tengok like The, and these were their mess Their masses yang fikir macam gini So what I'm saying is that yeah. So it happens everywhere lah You tak bolehlah kata oh Korea Dia memang macam best gila apa semua Dia punya cerita Dia tak ada ni cerita-cerita sampah TV-TV apa cerita-cerita drama tu jauh petang Apa semua ni dia tak ada cerita-cerita Mak-mak bertua dengki Hello <laughs> I Easily I think maybe 60% lah at least Daripada TV dia orang It's all about cerita mak mutu dengki kot. It's your typical hmm, thing yeah. je. Sama yeah, je. Uh, it's the same thing. Yeah, and it's always like uh, uh, it's always like macam people people here uh, cakap macam we need to have something so that we can be proud of. Tapi I've always hmm. hated that notion. It's like I've always hated that because like we need to have someone here make a movie and then that movie is successful overseas so that we can be proud of them. Hey, number one, that's not your movie. That's his or her movie. So fuck you. It's got nothing to do with you. Then, uh, you know, how dare you claim ownership over other people's shit and they don't want to make it for you. You don't want to help you. So it's like, I don't think, you know, okay, fine lah, like, Aku tahu dia the ideology the analogy is like kalau macam kita bangga bila apa Nicole David pergi mm-hmm. menang all this semua yes but we have to acknowledge that most of that is because of them uh, and and I think even though it's similar I think it's still different in the sense that there's no Olympics for for film Oscar lah yang paling dekat pun but Fuck I know off, I know Oscars <laughs> macam yeah. Overrated. Yeah. It's, it's fucking like what? What? Few hundred white Correct. people, white Correct. people dalam satu kitchen voting on the bloody fucking thing. Uh, I'm going to talk about Khan. Khan is, uh, Khan is a market. It's like, it is also done by committees doing this or whatever. And it's like, there's, there's nothing. Actually, the, the final thing I think that makes a movie or a series work is the passion shown mm-hmm. by the audience uh, to the thing. That's it. That's the purest yeah. form of acknowledgement. It's got nothing to do with the stupid awards. So fuck the awards. Fuck the Oscars. <laughs> fuck the <laughs> Fuck all this shit. This is all bullshit. Tidak, <laughs> bagaimana pun sah. No, it's like why, why, why are we like oh, maybe Oscars? Mampu sah. You know, it's I like. I think, eh, macam apa? Kenapa orang kita tu obses sangat? Orang kita dan termasuk beberapa pengkaya kita tu obses, obses sangat dengan apa? Awards dari luar, especially yang dari luar SN, especially dari Western world itu. Uh, dia macam hmm? uh, mencari, Hello? Dia, dia macam mencari acknowledgement je lah tu. Oh okay yeah Actually yes It's nice to be acknowledged <laughs> Yes but it's not the be all and end all It's not the Olympics uh, Of whatever Where you are the best I think yeah Mencari kind of mencari the... acknowledgement is right lah Because How else can you I mean like The arts is so subjective But But it's not that kind of cari acknowledgement juga. I think lah dia macam some kind of inferiority complex lah macam tu. Yeah, something like that lah. Like, like just a small country itu tiba-tiba dia acknowledge oleh let's say Oscar macam tu. If somebody requested, uh, can you request again? Sorry, uh, uh, somebody requested but I missed it because I was looking at my Twitter. So, if the person who requested just now for the thing, can you request it again? Sementara tu, Uh, addressing Tengku Iskandar uh, I think it's true lah it's, 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 it's a bit of an inferiority complex juga uh, dia, dia dia same vein dengan dengar dengar Mak Saleh cakap bahasa Melayu terus wah dah terkena kinja dah bangga ha. dah macam tu lah <laughs> ya betul sama yeah. which is which is a problem juga lah I, I made I made this joke once Where uh, ada orang putih ni dia pindah Malaysia kan So then bila orang tanya dia kerja apa Dia cakap saya orang putih fasih berbahasa Melayu sepenuh masa Nobody oh, found okay. it funny actually... <laughs> No, it's, 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 it's good, it's good actually <laughs> Is it though? 
No, who's laughing now? But no, I actually I, I found it funny, but I don't laugh at everything, you know, because uh, whatever. That's something I I acquired while watching comedies. So yeah, yeah I think it, it, but I get that as a clucker because I guess it went over their heads, lah. Like, but to luck, I mean, th- why not? Why wouldn't you be orang putih fasi bahasa Melayu sepanjang masa di Malaysia? It's yeah. a legit career path. Yeah, yeah, it, it's funny, but it's not ha 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 <laughs> funny. It's like yeah, it's uh, it's basically like yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. That's funny. That's insightful, witty observation. <laughs> you should you should put it into into a stand up. Like, yeah. yeah. Seinfeld. Oh, kenapa tak buat macam Seinfeld? Satu location je. <laughs> uh, it's like, uh, man, it's like, uh, butuh lah kan. They have like, what, three, six writers or some shit like that season. working yeah. on for the whole season. And here's the thing. Do you have like a bunch of people working on the script for one episode over a period of like months while they gang chat tau. Dia bukan je macam buat kita punya cara ialah, okay, we have 13 episodes. Kau buat dua, kau hmm. buat dua, kau buat whatever. You have one week. Uh, yeah. lah, kan? You have one week. Uh, betul-betul babi. <laughs> And then, you know, we we do, we're doing the best we can. I, I mean, from the filmmakers, production people point of view, we're doing the best we can with yeah. what we have. This is the budget is, this is whatever. We do apologize to all your your impeccable palette <laughs> and taste in, in the uh, for, for, for For daring to To, to serve try. you with such swill, <laughs> you know, and, and shit there, yang yang kita ada lah. This is, but this is all we Tapi have. I do, I do believe, like but other it, other than the obvious ones, yang macam apa benda punya cerita ni punya type. I do believe that everyone is trying their best to do whatever they can yes. within the limitations that they have. And I believe that one day we will see great works despite the sabotage <laughs> from <laughs> our own people yeah, of every betul, level. Betul. Yeah, despite everything, we will see it. And and we uh, and what what we have now are moments of brilliance. I think flashes of brilliance that we can see in uh, in commercials, in in some parts in movies. We see like great acting in some scenes that we see like uh. the <laughs> so macam. You see, like great, uh, great camera work in this one thing sequence. But you're for Jannam. We see great lines in a few things. But that one of these days, one some crazy younger people than I am uh, in Malaysia, they are going to get together and the 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 collaboration. It will be a lightning in a bottle. The collaboration is it's going to be so good. No censors in the world. No policymakers in the world. Sorry, in Malaysia. Sorry, no censors in Malaysia. No policymakers in Malaysia can actually destroy that work of art and it will be there. But it might take about maybe what, 200 Wait, years or something? Lama lagi. Akan ada tempat tengok. Tapi <laughs> okay, fine. I'll like 20 years to make it more positive. <laughs> but, 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 but then again, again your, aku rasa, well, aku tak ada rasa aku suspect orang ramai faham je sebab kalau, kalau teruk sangat lah TV Malaysia ni, aku rasa kita tak dapat kerja lah. Michael Al tak boleh kerja lah. Hmm. So, I don't know if that's hmm the mentality of macam ini je yang ada kita tengok je lah or memang no, I, think some, I, think some, I think a lot of people uh, they don't care yeah. tau they don't even watch movies they don't even watch TV kau tahu apa they are talking to each other aku menyampah gila tengok kat Malaysia ni dari wayang kat Malaysia kalau local productions especially sebab orang duk cakap dekat dalam panggung tau <laughs> this is my pet city. aku dah sampai aku cerita Melayu kalau boleh aku nak pergi tengok kalau aku suka tengok oh, so. kalau pergi sana and yang ada member aku je empat orang je orang lain tak ada sebabnya kalau ada lah macam lima belah orang or something lepas tu ada beruk kat belakang aku memang aku tak boleh nak concentrate but this type aku of people will bercakap senyap. anywhere not just for Malay movies guys. yeah yeah but but that's the problem here's the thing they don't watch the movie <laughs> they didn't watch the movie they were like talking to each other they playing on their phone lepas tu bila ada something uh, lepas tu girlfriend dia ke atau boyfriend dia akan repeat oh tengok benda tu kat screen lah dia orang bunuh diri whatever ah. lepas tu dia ha 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 lepas tu dia go back to their shit and whatever it's They don't have any respect uh, at all. Uh, dia lah orang nak fun je kan. Tak ada, no, no, anyway. No, but that's the thing. They don't watch the movie because of that. Aku rasa sebenarnya a bit safe. Sebabnya, they will never see a lot of the uh, mistakes that I've made in the movie and whatever else. They don't even care. I think like only 3% of the people actually uh, pay attention. Yeah. So... And then, macam don't... kalau kita berbalik sekolah Benar. kepada uh, cakap pasal double standard tu. Okay. Like, okay eh, okay. I, I, bagi contoh terang dan jelas lah, waktu tu, there were, there were no, there, there were not much 
there were not many movies playing at the cinema masa tu. So the only top two choices that you had if you wanted to watch a movie, this was zaman-zaman of course lah, pre-COVID di mana <laughs> watching movie is a pastime, <laughs> at the cinema is a pastime. So, uh, tu, the top two uh, movies that you would choose from is either 47 Ronin, yang Keanu Reeves hmm? main cerita sampah tu, the <laughs> 47 Ronin dengan Kuala Lumpur. <coughs> Okay, so these oh, were like okay. the two, the, the the two choices that you have. <coughs> Kalau chances are you pergi dekat screen macam nak tengok movie apa hari ni, ada dua ni. Ada 47 Ronin and ada Kuala Lumpur. Our people are more likely to watch 47 Ronin even though they know nothing about the movie. Maksudnya, they they go in blind. They, the only thing they know is that ada Kenny Reeves. Ah, but you cannot blame huh. them completely. Because according to study blah blah blah, there's a disposable income siapa? yang dia Uh, according to some study, actually there was a study done okay, by Azana okay, or something okay. like that. So uh, whatever it is lah. So the disposable income for the B40, M40, right. whatever, blah, blah, blah. I mean, I'm not going to bore you with the exact details, but uh, the point is, uh, they don't punya budget untuk entertainment is very limited. So kalau macam tiket RM17, RM20, whatever, and they uh-huh. bawa awet lagi, or something. So is they have to make sure that benda tu gives the most bang for their buck. And the most bang for their buck will be some stupid Hollywood movie yang bodoh. Sebab at least they spent 20, uh, 200 million on it Berbanding dengan yang ni yang dapat macam 2-300 ribu lah Oh ok, faham? Faham, faham? So mm-hmm. like macam Memang orang kita mm-hmm. akan go for So you you cannot kata yang macam Oh orang kita pentingkan story Janji story best Mesti orang akan suka punya Salah That's bullshit, oh, that's bullshit. Because that's our people bullshit. do not go that's for do not, Our people do not go for story Our people go for production value Ha, dia akan tengok hmm, mana course. yang paling nampak gah Mana yang ada paling banyak letupan <coughs> Mana yang paling macam maybe hmm. Banyak shoot overseas I guess Ke, uh, Zaman dulu-dulu there was that Oh oh oh, oh. J- 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 Jangan lupa Kala. color grading <laughs> Most important thing In the movie is color grading Okay Kalau color grading best <laughs> Wow kita ni best Kau tengok color grading Kuala Lumpur Kau tengok color grading Cute lah <laughs> so yeah lah I mean like Dorak 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 Macam kalau kita like tengok kan uh, Benda yang dipuji-puji Dengan sangat Gah Dekat Cerita <coughs> ke Apa ke Even macam K-drama ke Apa ke kan Kau akan tengok macam Sebenarnya Korang ni Tertarik dengan Production value Sebenarnya Korang bukan tertarik Pada story but, but they cannot Verbalize it Because they don't They don't, they don't understand What it is And they don't ha. notice it Well, not, I mean, hashtag not all, some of you ha. do ha, ha, Jadi, ha. dia orang akan uh, production yeah, value dan anything that uh, yang boleh mengaburi mata dia orang dari segi uh, high concept Apa benda yang dia orang macam rasa high concept, automatically cerita tu best Death game high concept ke? Come on lah, death game tu dah lama lah No, Lapuk bagi dia orang lah. bagi dia, bagi dia orang high concept lagi. Benda, benda oh, yang oh. bukan you, you, uh, ni, ni typical ayat yang keluar daripada mulut dia orang eh um, Uh, tak boleh ke buat cerita macam ni? Balik-balik cerita cinta, balik-balik cerita uh, balik-balik cerita berebut uh, berebut berebut bisnes. So bagi dia orang cerita cinta, cerita berebut uh, harta, ini semua bukan ni dua je yang bukan high concept. Lain semua high concept. Oh, eh that's that global. <laughs> that means aku pula persoalkan kenapa filmmaker tak buat je something that is a, a bit higher than cerita cinta. That's exactly, that's that's it. exactly what happened. Katalah macam okay, I, aku bagi contoh when uh, Mamo and I worked on uh, uh, Love Elsa. This was under Michael Ang kan. So cerita tu the, it's actually a love story. It's as simple as it being a love story. Cuma the heroine has like an ability when she touches Somebody she knows of the person punya bad memories. Itu saja. Oh, That's okay. the only addition to it. And automatically, it becomes high concept. So the the the, oh, the, the, the comments, okay, the comments that we receive semua macam oh cerita ni lain dari yang lain cerita ni memang uh, out of the box cerita ni memang sangat uh, tak tipikal. That's That's like out of character. Usually, dia orang akan cakap macam, ee, ee, pandainya, oh, uh, tak best. Yeah. Something like that, you know. No. So, something as, you know, okay, that's fantastic, <laughs> man. That the boys, yeah, yeah. no. We should tell this to everyone. <laughs> hey, motherfuckers, anyone who's listening to this, you need to make shows that are just like 
a tiny little bit. I mean, it's a bit. start. I'm not. I'm uh, not. I'm not I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm not being condescending. Ke apa ke that macam the bias over there. The the bias over there. Okay, tidak. What I'm saying is that when you make the push, you make sure you push. You make the push little by little, lah. You push sikit sini, oh, and yes. then you okay, you're not able to accept me, kan? Okay, you push lagi sikit, and then you push <coughs> lagi sikit. I don't know lah. To me, that would be any. Me, like yeah, to me, that lah. would be an effective way lah. Kalau you betul-betul nak kita punya penonton go through this uh, evolution, then it has to be like a sikit, okay. sikit, sikit, well, sikit. Okay. and and make sure they believe that it is a high concept. They believe that it is a high production value. Oh, that's that's a fantastic point. I think that should be adopted. I think Kamil should have led with that instead of the stupid Oscar thing. But, you know, that we, we should, uh, uh, th- that is the responsibility of the filmmakers and the production crew, whatever the fuck. Those people, the filmmakers need to carry it forward. Like, and bukan just anak seni, tapi we're talking, when I say filmmakers, I'm saying everyone involved in production, daripada key grade sampai lah ke uh, director, producer, balik semula ke bawah, bawah sekali. Color grading. Color grading. The person yang buat yeah. color grading, yes. So, <laughs> So we do it bit by bit, lah. I mean, it's not going to happen no, overnight. It's, it's not going to be a revolution. It's going to be an evolution, except for the people who are suddenly going to make something really good and push it out there without giving a shit, and they're not going to listen to this, uh, whatever it is that we're doing, Twitter Spaces, ke, atau the clubhouses, <laughs> whatever, whatever. Because those, everyone here is not going to make anything great. So you know, so that's there's no pressure now. Uh, so I think that's very positive. <laughs> is it now? Anyway, I think. I think it's very positive. It's it's a hopeful, hopeful it's note. a hopeful yeah. stand. It's, it's a hopeful note. So like, macam, yeah, one of, one of these days, we, uh, kita akan ada uh, karya Malaysia yang best. Aku harap dia bukan death game macam squid game lah. Aku harap fuck squid game. Fuck the death game with the genre. Aku harap buat something else. Like, I don't know what it is. It could be, I, I don't know. I, I'm not going to say anything because I don't know what the fuck. But hopefully it's something good lah. Even if it's uh, cinta-cinta. Kalau kita terror buat cinta-cinta, what a cinta cinta sampai orang lain tak boleh nak challenge hmm. lah because cinta cinta oh Malaysian cinta cinta best gila macam dengan nangis whatever yeah, anyway macam Hong Kong lah orang tak kata balik balik cinta gangster balik cinta gangster kan yeah. orang cakap orang pandai balik cinta gangster Hong Kong has mastered uh, cop <coughs> stories and gangster stories cop stories yeah. yeah so macam it becomes their yeah. niche lah it, be- it becomes a thing that they're good at yeah. kan siam dengan <coughs> komedi dengan horror hmm. kan So how can we, like, contoh lah, yeah. macam Malaysia kan, uh, benda yang kita paling take pride in is our food, right? So why, why, why yeah, can't yeah. we wait, wait. do that? Like, why, why can't that be our, our thing? I don't know, I, again, macam you cakap lah, I don't want to dictate or I don't want to suggest anything. You can do whatever you want to do. I'm just saying that, macam, there are so many possibilities yang kita boleh master and... But you're younger than me. You should be part of the solution. Oh, pandai kau, eh? <laughs> I don't want to be responsible, man. I just, you know, I'm not the I'm not the answer. I'm not the answer, okay? <laughs> you might be because, uh, let's say, uh, by the way, aku nak tanya, uh, and aku hmm. honestly nak tanya, gantung, how? Oh, how tak, boleh je. Tak ada masalah. Like, macam we are restarting things after the PKP. Because right now, shooting is still a bit of a... Shooting is a bit of a problem sikit. Bukanlah problem. It's still volatile in that sense. Macam tiba-tiba hari ni something can, tomorrow si tiba-tiba something cannot. So because uh, the production of Ganto involves like Indonesian actors that we're going to bring from the outside. Mm. So we need to make sure that things are somewhat stabilized first before we decide to shoot. Mm-hmm. But we are planning for it to mm. be I would say earliest December this year, latest we're trying, latest we're trying oh. March next year lah, latest. Yeah, that's I mean, the target, that's the range that we're targeting lah. <coughs> you heard it here, you heard it here first. <laughs> Back on board, no longer tergantung. And we have, yeah, um, I mean like just a, a, a teaser of, tak tahu lah, teaser ke apa kan. Tapi, um, there are international platforms who are already interested and <laughs> and so macam we we're, we're negotiating lah negotiating mainly for funding purposes and to make sure that everything runs smooth <laughs> tengok sebab budget we kita perlu kan budget untuk things run smooth so yeah, yeah. of course tapi ya yeah, tapi kau boleh buat macam soprano <laughs> sebab je bodoh lah <laughs> But on the note of <laughs> macam okay. things are so volatile right now, can we are 
especially you lah, you working on two series right oh, now yeah. yang macam patutnya dah boleh tutup buku dah tapi Correct. tak boleh boleh tak nak boleh. abandon. Yeah, yeah. That's how I know things are volatile shooting wise because uh, aku bagi contoh lah like macam it, uh, they are shooting as we're writing that because the uh, TV mm-hmm. stations are so uh, desperate for content kan so they are they they want content uh, immediately on their platforms apa tak access tu kenapa kau panggil content nanti razi masa we marah kau tau it should be content content is already i didn't say plural. contents i said content yeah. aku dengar pendengaran kau so, pendengaran kau salah so, anyway. jadi <laughs> seperti so, biasa okay. aku tak salah kau yang salah <laughs> <laughs> okay, <of course. laughs> jadi uh, they're looking for content <laughs> So um, it's still as uh, uh, they we they are shooting as we are writing. So kadang-kadang you have uh, katalah you written episodes one until twelve, for example, and then tiba-tiba like one actor cannot make it due to uh, pandemic reasons. So the script mm. is yeah one until twelve, but the actor cannot make it. The actor has shot until like say. Three episodes. So now you have to entirely remove that character's story thread. <coughs> yes. Holy that's the shit. shit that I'm going through, oh through no. right now. Oh God. So you have to okay, entirely yeah. remove that story thread and then replace <coughs> it. Are, are you okay? <coughs> <laughs> no, go ahead. Go ahead, go ahead. You, sound, you, can, oh, you thought, can mute your mic dulu. Kau nak batu. Go ahead, go ahead. So ahead, then ahead, you need ahead. to like replace it with like an entirely <laughs> new... <laughs> Seriously, man, are you okay? Are you... <laughs> no, I'm okay, uh, I'm okay. <laughs> Risau juga. Go ahead, go ahead. I'm engrossed in the story. <laughs> the stress is getting to me because of the... Uh, I can imagine <laughs> the yeah. IB. Yeah, so you have to like... Oh, yeah, macam tu lah. Things like that. And then... Both, oh, and then both series, kan? Yeah, and then pula tu kalau macam you have scenes where there are a lot of like, you have crowd scenes, and now you have to completely eliminate that episode because it's a crowd scene. You tak boleh shoot crowd scene because sekarang uh, oh, yeah. the most extras that can be available. I mean, there are only only twenty people are allowed on set at a time. So kepada oh, sesiapa, for everyone. Uh, so kepada sesiapa yang Mungkin tak familiar dengan production ke apa ke That is very very little Itu sangat sedikit Lisa boleh bawa banyak penari Dekat atas stage Abis? kat Inti Gayo <laughs> Lisa boleh bawa banyak penari Dekat atas stage kat Inti Gayo <laughs> So yeah 20 sahaja So things like this lah Benda-benda macam ni yang memang akan Memeningkan kepala lah These are the things that is going to like Really really affect Shoot I really Yeah, I, so kita yeah. tengok je lah apa I, result dia nanti. On our end, she has done the best she can lah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I yeah, yeah, that's, I've been there before with all the, I can, uh, this is the best that I could. Uh, given. I'm okay, I'm okay. I've been, uh, I discovered that I have uh, an allergy to teh, teh kat kedai mamak. Oh, okay. So you can't have that anymore. You can drink or your own. Hey. Ah, I from Bali, Bali Swam. Again, I I can really, I can really take uh, like hot Bali. So, itulah dia. Like the shooting really? punya situation sekarang ni is still quite <coughs> volatile in that sense, and a lot of locations are still very, very wary of production datang shoot dekat tempat dia orang ke shoot anything happen should an outbreak happen then dia orang punya tempat pun nak kena shut down juga yeah. yeah so now you have another yeah. layer of problem tau macam dulu sama ada cukup duit atau tak cukup duit ah, nak sekarang a whole different layer now covid tak covid yep okay ya ya is ya Uh, nampak ni memang makin lama makin teruk kan dia punya situation covid tapi dengan 14 Oktober ni aku dengar more more things will be lifted kan really? 14 Oktober What? Hmm, 14 Oktober more 14 Oktober more things will be allowed oh. I'm not sure what heard rumors lah uh, this rumor is from an uncle yang I met dekat supermarket <laughs> <tu>, so <laughs> so but that's how word travel oh, kan yeah <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I generally believe uh, uh, Chinese uncles uh, who stay in the supermarket 
because um, about these things are. You know? So I'm sure I'm sure something will happen. Uh, I'm sure there are more things that we can do. Uh, hopefully, it will it will improve the the production the situation. Yeah. Macam SOP sekarang, macam SOP sekarang pun, if I'm not mistaken, dia tambah kos tau. Macam every day, kau nak shoot, kau kena tambah kos untuk SOP COVID wala, apa benda yang kena kejadah. So that thing oh, will yeah. actually cost. Benda tu like, memang akan add up lah. Sebab apa you akan, like every day, everybody has to be tested for COVID. Ah, uh, Itu memang, hmm. and then, uh, at the, the <laughs> orang kata the, the, the fantasy is for you to create a, a shooting bubble which to me is a bit uh, takkan masuk akal dan takkan boleh dibuat. Well, I think I think we're moving on the COVID front. I think what we're going to do is we're going to move to a to a situation where uh, we're just not going to give a shit about how many people <laughs> die uh, on that day and how many people yang kena infected and we're just going to move on with our so life. Basically, we're going to be the US lah. Is that what you're trying to say? I think we're going to be that the rest of the world. I'm not saying this to be flippant uh-huh, about uh-huh, that. Yeah. I'm saying that the approach, this is, the, I mean, just in case I don't want to know how to record. <laughs> oh. No, I'm saying, no, it's, I think it's the approach that was first. I think I saw it first dekat African, dekat African countries, Africa, because uh, there are things like, oh, COVID, what's the mortality rate? Trip said, okay, whatever lah, you know. They're not, they, they don't give a shit about uh, banyak benda because they have dealt with Ebola, which has a 40 plus percent mm. mortality rate. For them, like, 3% They're like, lebih really macam Bogo lah, macam tu. And eventually, I think all the rest of the world uh, having, like, had to uh, uh, take all the economic hits that we've taken, that the whole world has taken, they're going to they're going to adopt that stanza of, like, macam, uh, whatever lah, you know, we, we we cannot sacrifice our economy anymore. We just gonna, Yeah, I think it's that. It, it's not being gonna, able to sacrifice that. economy anymore. <laughs> Yeah, but on the good front, on a positive note, both Merck and Pfizer have developed uh, uh, all these oral tablets yang boleh, uh, boleh make sure that you don't die from COVID-19 if you take it earlier. Oh. Uh, Merck and Pfizer being the big pharma lah to everyone yang tak dengar sini, yang tak tahu what it is. Okay, I'm being <laughs> condescending again. Uh, but uh, the cost would be about seven, uh, which is about what, 1770 USD or some shit like that. But I'm sure it would it would come to uh, something manageable, like maybe a few hundred ringgit or something. Kalau aku tak nak mati, I think that's what's going to happen soon. Lah. I see, I see. Okay, okay. <laughs> faham. Uh-huh. Okay, so anyway, uh, I'm gonna we already spoke for like an hour and forty six minutes. Wow, I think it's okay. brilliant. Yeah. And uh, the, fact, the fact that I can actually, according to Google, I can actually download this uh, audio from Twitter. So what I'm going to do is, uh, with your permission and with everyone's permission later, whatever, yang bercakap tadi, I'm going to upload this on my, on somewhere lah, I don't know where, maybe YouTube ke, apa, so anything that can, uh, uh, that can house the audio file. Yeah, yeah. yeah no worries. Do- yeah. Okay, so I'm going to, I'm going to do it lah, I'm going to do it later, tapi, uh, I have to download it first and I think I have to request Twitter first and then Twitter has to email me, <laughs> to lah. me the, Zip file. I, 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 is there something new? Because somebody asked yeah, you yeah. on Twitter, like, uh, is this thing? So I Google, uh, can I download, how to download whatever shit, whatever from, <laughs> sorry, from Twitter spaces. <laughs> from Twitter spaces. And that's the, uh, those are the steps that I got. The alternative would have been for me to save it on my phone. Kau harus memang ada. Sorry. Mamu memang suka mentar- <laughs> Mamu juga <laughs> Tentangkan Kesesaraan orang Especially my own yeah. I've, been, I've been listening this call for a while now Every time aku, I go out Lepas tu aku, aku batuk Lepas tu semua tengok Oh COVID-19 <laughs> No I'm actually allergic to like Kenapa Teh kedai mamak no? While drinking teh kat kedai mamak I love teh tarik Mabuk Okay mabuk <laughs> is the best <laughs> So now no more. So setting, but it's, so, yeah, I have to recover from. Sebab tu bunyi batuk kau tu. Sebab betul bunyi ni mak batuk kau tu macam tak berbaloi je. No, it's it's. I think it's my fucked up. My this is a new new phone by the way. But I think the mic is not that good because a lot of people have been complaining about the the uh, the quality of the audio or something like that when uh. I make calls. 
but it's okay. I think one of these days we can move this show to somewhere clubhouse ke menatang dia. I don't know what yeah. the fuck. Tapi macam aku tak suka buat benda banyak sangat effort, you know. <laughs> you know yeah, this benda is just for so fun lah. <laughs> yeah, because aku prepare material untuk you minute. It's kind of jadi <laughs> sekarang <laughs> lebih. Yeah. Okay, that's great. So one of the tricks is to allow people to talk macam Zaisham, terima kasih Zaisham. Oh, dah tak ada sini tapi tak apa. Kita dia akan dengar nanti kalau dia dengar lah. And also Tekuis, Tekuis uh, Kanda. Tekuis Kanda, Kanda. Yeah. Uh, and thanks Mamu, thanks Ned. Thank you so much. No This problem. Mami habis his prestigious yes. life, <laughs> see my level kau ada. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Let's end it here on a high <laughs> note so not so really. Oh, and before that, a disclaimer. Aku tanya balik semua benda yang aku cakap. Aku salah. Wait, <laughs> what? Ya, aku cakap boleh kepada anyone tu actually holds any water, uh, holds water in any way. Okay? Alright, bye-bye.